He, yeah, he's switching out. All right, then I'll switch out then. That's fine. You guys can go. Did it just start? What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, they started. Oh. Look at that. All right, what's going on, guys? Okay. It's Goffin in here joining uh, Koopa. What's going on, man? Yeah, they started pretty quick. I thought we were going to have a little break before top eight. Oh, it looks like they're... Oh, this is a button check. Oh, is it? Okay, look at that. Oh, maybe it wasn't a button check. Okay, no, it wasn't a button check. Regardless, we got that break in the action we needed. Yeah. Needless to say, folks, we got uh, we got the great Gonzalez going up against Jackal here. Yeah, Jackal's been doing pretty well. I think he, he got out. I mean, he got into lose a, a little earlier than he would have wanted to. Yeah, he lost a round before quarters of Jack. Uh -huh. uh, but Jack obviously making top eight, mm -hmm. so he was on a, a tear of himself. Yeah, Jack doing really right well, now. man. So see how this works out. Gons was playing Palutena earlier when I saw him on stream. Now rocking the nest against Pikachu, mm -hmm. or Pichu in this case. Can't really yeah. say it's a bad idea. Pichu and, and uh, Pikachu uh, both seem to struggle oh with characters like Ness. Yeah. Jeez. And uh, he pur he purposely uh, kind of like tippered that back air so he can fall out and just get caught by the uh, the F2. That was, that was so good. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. Ooh, there we go. Mm. Good read on the air dodge right there. Yeah, a lot of people think that's safe. But once you air dodge to the uh, to the edge like that, you have a lot of like frames where you're just vulnerable. So yeah. if, you, if somebody could throw out a media hitbox, <laughs> you get hit. God, I can't believe you just got hit by that. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually learned that Ness's up smash has the same like charging like hitbox animation that yes. uh, down smash does. Yeah, I learned that pretty late into launch as well. Yeah. It was like three weeks, three or four weeks after, and I'm like, like, wait a minute. Yeah, like how do you walk the dog like vertically? <laughs> like, excuse me. Needless to say, uh, Jackal continuing to press his lead right here. Mm -hmm. Like the hard part for Gons here has just been—he's been having a horrible time getting out of like the ledge area. Yeah, and that's—I mean—that's what most characters in this game. It's pretty hard to um, to get off the ledge. You take a lot of damage trying to get off the ledge, and that yeah, your triple jump is not going to work here, Gons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, I was a big fan of that thunder jolt right there. It forced Gons to air dodge like a little lower than he probably would have liked to. Yep. It might have been a better idea just to take the uh, B. I mean, hindsight is always 20, 20 but that down smash B. I walk the dog on the edge. And the dog bites. And the dog <laughs> bites. <laughs> that was a fantastic attempt right there from uh, from Gons. Continuing to press right now. He's, a, he's even things up for the most part. Yeah, now definitely. has himself in the lead. Yeah, that was a great re-grab on, uh, on the platform just now. He could have threw out an air, which would have gotten blocked. But he opted to just uh, press his advantage and get the grab. Ooh, you see uh, excuse me, Jackal going for the home run right there. It looks like back going to uh, shield poke. And I'm, oh, that was dangerous, but it uh, worked out in his favor. Yeah, Gons has been kind of like poking his hurtbox ever so slightly through the edge. Jeez, And man. that's so good, because Pikachu has no hitbox on, on the up B. Yeah. So you just got deleted. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you can tell the difference, because Pikachu's up B is called Quick Attack, which uh -huh. obviously has the name Attack in it. Pichu's up B is Agility. Agility does not have mm. is that an attacking move in Pokemon, so... There you go. But it's always been something like that's like really, really good uh, for Ness against you know Pikachu, Pikachu in Smash Four is that Ness has these huge hitboxes uh, that Pikachu just can't like ever so you know kite around and yeah. especially for Pichu because there isn't a hitbox on that move. So and then needless to say, really good job there from Gons. Uh, Jackal's in the driver's seat for a large majority of that game. So, but here we go. Now I think uh, we're at PS one. Uh, yes, we are. You can tell because, um, A, the, the platforms are a lot lined in black, and they don't have, like, the, the three screens on the side of the big screen back yeah. there. It's a giant CRT in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that, like, gets distracted by that screen? You are going to die. Sheesh. I mean, your B is pretty big. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> Pichu. I mean, you're, you're, you're down there is pretty big. But this is Ness's up B you tried to contest after the fact. Yeah. Oh, well, needless to say, it gets the job. And even Gonzo is like, okay. Yeah. Well played, worthy adversary. If at first you don't succeed. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Roll back and try it again. But I need you to answer one question. Why does that move kill at the bottom and at the, at the side? You I don't either know, get man. spiked or you just explode to the blast zone. Dude, I don't know, man. But I, also, I for one, welcome our new top tier baby Pokemon <laughs> for sure. But needless to say. Yeah. Beat uh, you so good, man. <laughs> he looks so cute. Come on, man. You can't be mad at him. His head's bigger than his body. He I already can, has problems. I can absolutely be mad at people. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right, goes for the forward throw, mostly for positioning's sake. Absolutely. Gon Gons recovers high, and it looks like he's all out of resources. Yep. So how do you get back on stage? He's going to up B. Oh, no. He's just not even doesn't. to up B. 
just says forget it. I yeah. don't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he like thought he had a jump left still. He probably thought he like hit the ground before he got hit again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was weird. His reaction time is, is pretty good though. So I'm Whoa! Oh, that sucks. Jackal almost exploded. <laughs> he almost exploded. <laughs> okay, yeah. down throw. Yep, forward air. That combo both worked for Pikachu in Smash 4 and also worked well mm -hmm. for Pikachu in this game. Okay, now he's just going to press his advance. He's going to get another grab. It's a back air. Going to put him off stage. How does Gans get back to the stage? He's taking a lot of damage on his last stock here. Yeah, that was a good air dodge right there from Gans. He's been, I think he used the air dodge like upwards yeah. to like hit the ledge, but you there mean, he did it to just land behind him. You mean the triple jump? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like oh that. God. There you go. That is legit. His air dodge goes higher than Snake's uh, grounded jump. I am not even like. <laughs> oh, God, the visualization of Pichu's F tilt is the most disgusting thing I've seen in my entire oh life. Oh my God! The um, you saw the the hitbox? Yeah, <laughs> dude, why does his feet? Why does his yo, feet do that? Yo, it, it looks really weird. He lifts both legs, and first of all, the first leg like protrudes like clay. <laughs> it just looks like odd. Like I don't want to look at that. Like, does he have toes, or is it just one big foot? Like I don't get it. <laughs> Like the, the or just one, like, ham hock leg. <laughs> <laughs> the anatomy of Pichu. I, I need, like, science to, like, to, like tell me what's going on here because I got nothing. Word. So game three. Uh, Gon's evening up the set count. I like it. Um, but Jackal, I think that he's not pressing any buttons in the beginning of this match. No, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. But Gon's off to a quick start right here. Like, both these guys are going to make their money, like, edge guarding the others. It's a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so he's gonna just gonna land with a nair, and then um, gonna press his advantage off stage. He clipped his jump just now, but wasn't in position to punish him for it. Yeah, it looks like both these guys are just opting for the same strategy, like I was saying. Ooh, okay. See, that would have like been spelt doom for most other characters because there's like no hits done on um, when you get hit by like the charging hitbox of down smash. Yeah. But because Pichu's recovery is so good, he was able to live to see another day. But reverse nair out of shield. Still gets the job done, so Gans finds himself in an early advantage right now. Yeah, you see Jackal, he kind of woke up with some buttons when he got off the ledge. So Gans was able to just nair out of shield. That nair is still great. He's probably even better in this game than it was in Smash 4. Oh, yeah, especially because, like, I, know, I feel like most characters, like, edge guarding, like, juggle tools are, like, much better than they are in this game than they are in other games. Mm -hmm. Because, like, air dodges are far more committal. Yeah. And that's just, like, a character you can just kind of, like, air dodge for free to get back down to the stage. Yeah, exactly kind of mash it out. So now yeah. you got to be selective with your air dodge. Gets it right there, and the F-tilt will meet its mark. So yep. Jackal even things up here. Finds himself at a slight uh, percent deficit, but it is Pichu. So yeah. that's definitely death percent right now. Okay. He got hit with the... Oh, he's not going to die. 116. I would have... That was great DI. Because yeah. I would have bet the form on that one that he was going to take a stock. Yeah, me too, man. Like I said, Pichu is the lightest character in the game. So, yeah. like, by far. Pretty light. Rightfully so, it's a baby. Babies aren't that heavy. You should know that. You have like three of them. I have three babies. <laughs> All three of them. But they don't hurt themselves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't protrude electricity from their body. At hopefully. all. But they do do a lot of damage. Nonetheless, back here, gonna put uh, gonna put Gons off stage. 95% on his second stock. He's looking pretty good right now. Any extra credit on Pichu is, is definitely great. Oh, Pichu, yeah. Without Pichu, a doubt, man. Yeah, Pichu dying really early. Uh, so if you can secure that stock, even with the rage, it's definitely doing him some favors. Down smash actually proven to be a good spacing tool right there. Jack wasn't able to run forward and grab guns. Mm -hmm. And the longer that he lets this, this stock uh, ride out here, uh, the harder it's going to be for him to come back. Mm, and that was some next level Yomi. Oh, down smash. The active hitboxes on that move could do your taxes. They, they, they can do just everything. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. many active hitboxes. Yeah, if y'all need an accountant before tax season's over, mm -hmm. definitely look at check out that guy. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and you see Jack, uh, Jack will bring this one back. Pretty yeah, much it, even percentages yeah. before Gons uh, took that in, but you are dead. Oh, wow, he got, yeah, he got the... At the edge, yo. Jackal DI, make Woo. a video. <laughs> that was crazy, man. There's two, that's two back throws that he survived. Yeah. He definitely should have been dead. Absolutely should have died. Maybe the blast one's a PS1 proven to be a little bit... Uh, Lenient it there. Ooh. Mm. Now you see Jackal doing a really good job. He understands that Ness's air dodge drift is great, so he's opting to wait out the air dodge and try and uh, get him right before he hits the ground. Oh, he gets the forward smash, and it's enough. Yep, gonna do it. I don't All know right. if that shield poked or if he just tried no, to come he, out. Or I think he dropped. He just dropped shield. Yeah. Like he ran into it. Oh God, he's so cute. 
<laughs> I, I just can't handle it, man. Nah, man, I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Pichu, man. <laughs> Pichu's, a, Pichu's, Pichu's a jerk. Yo, know, Pichu, the I, the correlation I make from Pichu, he's like a, a bullet. Super small, but like does all the damage in the world. Like, you can't catch a yeah, bullet. He's a bullet from like a Matrix movie or something. <laughs> Like, when Neo does the dodging thing, that's what Pichu is. Yeah, no, but Pichu's the bullet that actually hit him the, the time that he couldn't, that he didn't <laughs> do it right. <laughs> that's Pichu. Pichu's that bullet. Okay. Nonetheless, um, I have to go right back to PS1. Uh, they like the stage. Uh, they don't feel like the stage is, uh, yeah, the the stage stage is doing too much. Yeah, the stage rocks. Mm -hmm. This is like the super starter. This is more of a starter than Smashville was. <laughs> and you see... The, the screen in the back, it always gives me, like, this weird, like, vibe. It, it kind of tricks me out oh, when dude, I see no, it. It looks funnier weird. on PS2 because, like, you ever been to, like, a pizzeria that has, like, all the mirrors in the back? Yeah. And you can just, like, look into forever okay, with it? Okay, you're not surviving now. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, so Gon's striking first here, trying to push you to a game five. Jackal trying to move on uh, to winner semifinals. Or it's losers, uh, quarters, excuse me. Okay, Fair going to put him off stage. Gon's doing a really good job. He had in pretty much control of this match. Yeah, this is where he can kind of can like sit back and just like not play the game. Good air dodge right there. Jackal yep. just missed facing the, the S smash punish. Yep, that the length on that air dodge really getting guys out of some trouble. Ooh. How do you get back to the stage? He's gonna up be high. Oh, Jackal Ooh. missing the punish. Jackal probably thought he was gonna re recover at a steeper angle than what he did. And I like that. You see Jackal on his way back to the stage. He's opting not to air dodge, but he's trying to hit the up B with um with down air. Right. That down air, really big hitbox, so uh, that'll cancel it, it out, and he'll be able to save his jump. I mean, his air dodge. Yep. Goes for the back air. Stalls himself with the uh, the thunder cloud. And get up attack really good in this game. A lot of people aren't really using it the yeah. way that they should. Get up attack is invincible throughout the entire thing. So. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, right? Get, oh, back air going to seal it. Get up attack was so bad in Smash 4. Oh, yeah. Get up attack has always been, like, the red-headed stepchild of, like, ledge options <laughs> yeah. for the longest time. Like, it, it's still bad, but, like, at least it's, like, better. Yeah. I mean, it's it's actually an option now. Yeah. Before, it was just, like, a supreme mix-up. I haven't done this in nine sets. <laughs> I'm just going to do it now. All right. So, Jackal just desperately trying to get the stock off right now. Okay. Mm, Gon's doing a good job of just putting hitboxes out on the edge. Pichu at 54%, but I mean, back air full rage, that'll do some damage at the edge, especially right now. Really gets the forward air. Yes, yeah, not, not going to kill yet. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if he would have been able to take that even if he, like, timed it correctly. Yeah, that I couldn't, I couldn't tell if there was red splashes there or not. So That was a lot of knockback. Down smash, and you're dead. Weirdness. Tying it up. Game five. Yeah, man. This has Game been a good set so far. Yeah. They, this is only the first one of our top eight mm -hmm. so far. And they're, bra they're really brawling it out. They're going back and forth. Is that you, you could um, neither one is really like supremely in control. One is just kind of winning, and then the other one wins. So, oh yeah, dude, without a doubt, this game five is gonna be uh, one to watch. I'd like to see Gans uh, maybe uh, be a little more mix it up a little bit with his air dodges. He's kind of just air dodging and yep. drifting as far as he can. Uh, if Jackal could pick up on that, he could pick up some early stocks with with uh, four two. Yeah, man, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> He was coming for the knees immediately. That was so ratchet. I'm just going to forward smash your shield real quick. <laughs> Excuse me while I forward smash. Yeah, I'm saying, though. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so Jackal off to the strong start right now, or the early start. See him trying to go for a jab block right there, but mm. God's having a good uh, wear it all to tech uh, after that low forward there. Mm -hmm. And the thing about Pikachu uh, Thunder Jolt, you can't really contest it if you allow Pichu to send it while uh, Pichu's moving forward. Yep. Because um, even if you parry it, Pichu's not getting, oh, forward smash going to kill from right there. Absolutely. You can't, really, you can't really contest it because Pikachu's following it with buttons. You have to contest it on the way, uh, on Pichu's way out, on the startup frame, because it has a lot, uh, pretty much a lot of end lag, enough to punish it. Yeah, man, for sure. So Gon is going to have to get, get up there early. Maybe use, his, uh, use a full hop, fair. Yeah, it's weird. Like characters that can kind of like, uh, like walk with their own projectiles, like villager, like side beat. Yeah. Like and stuff like that. It's just another like layer for mm -hmm. you to like, you know, stay on top of. Exactly. 
because now they're covering space, like they're covering a moving space, and then they could cover your your defensive option. Right, oh. good. Yeah, that was a good weight right there uh, on the ledge from Jackal. Mm -hmm. And now Jackal's the one that's continuing to press this lead uh, to potentially the point of no return. Okay, back, back <laughs> throw, gonna do it. Didn't even need the mix up. <laughs> just fling you right over here. <laughs> <Just vanished. laughs> <laughs> so I love that so much. All right, so that was huge for Gans, like, because at least now it's like a damage deficit and not like a huge stock deficit. Because mm -hmm. like when you're down three socks to one, it's really hard to like mount those comebacks. Yeah. And you see Gans on his way back to the stage. I just noticed he's um he's opting to go high a lot, which is smart. You'll take an up air from Pikachu, but uh, at least you'll be above the stage and you could kind of mix it up a little bit instead of air dodging immediately as you approach the stage. Yeah, he's and very he's being very fluent with his, his how he yeah. gets back to the stage. Mm. Like he's opting for low recoveries, but he's also like mixing in the high recoveries as well, like you were saying. Yeah, gets the up throw, uh, but not gonna get the thunder confirm out of it. Okay, so you see two kind of just whiffing moves out here, throwing moves in the hitbox. Nice DI on that uh, on that up throw. Yeah, if you just DI like left or right, you're more likely than not not gonna get hit by the yeah. thunder cloud. At least out of at least out of percent for it's not like a true combo. Oh my gosh, and dash attack below 90 <laughs> almost did it did teach you in. Yeah, that's oh, gonna do. Oh, there it. we go. Goodbye. So Gans finds himself in the lead right now. Jackal uh, trying to press. Okay. Now, uh, you can see Gantz, he's really comfortable now. He's uh, he's understanding Jackal's shield patterns, and you can see he mixed it up just now with a grab. Um, it's not a good place to be in for, for Jackal. He's going to have to adapt if he wants to take this uh, take this stock. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Reads the high recovery with nice. the back air. Last stock for, uh, game for us here, folks. Yeah, and like we said, Jackal was able to adapt. We just noticed that Gantz was opting to go high his last couple of attempts coming back to the stage. Jackal immediately picked up on it and got that back air to seal the stock. Now, this isn't far out of the realm of possibility. He's only 50, he only has 56%, and Pikachu, Pichu does damage. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, and Jackal just having a hard time landing on the stage right now. Finally finds that, uh, that hit that he needs. Mm -hmm. Continues to string with the back air. Okay, so you know what he, you know what Gans is waiting for now. He's going to throw out some buttons, make you think that you can punish, and then he's going to go Ooh, for that, that back Ooh, that could have been super scary. Jeez. Yeah. All right, connects with the back air again. Yep. So has his jump, gonna use his jump high. Air dodge to the platform, yeah. but he's there. He's back on stage. Yeah, Jackal's just doing a better job just like sharking underneath Gans when he like recovers high like that. He's like, uh, there's literally nothing he can like throw out that's like unreactable at that height. Nice, gonna cancel <laughs> out that thunder. Oh. That's so scary, man. Yep, air and connects. Up nice, go. gonna do it. So Jackal falling out at seventh place here for the Great Gonzalez. Yeah. Moving on in the losers. Yep. And you can see Gans, he understood he had a uh, great advantage just now, and um, Jackal just wanted to get off that platform. And it looked like he buffered an air dodge yeah. on that jump. So that kind of that kind of put him in that uh, lag that he wasn't able to do anything. He couldn't throw out an aerial, couldn't air dodge again. Because, uh, he, I think Fro Frozen's mostly default costumes for the yep. most part. So. He played the defaults. Default. Yeah, he was, he, yeah he's, he ain't no chump, man. <laughs> now, I can't see this matchup being great for, uh, for Falcon. He, uh, um, it's just stuff, kind of stuff him out. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong, Falcon. No matter what character you are, once he puts you in the blender, like you gotta, you gotta get out. <laughs> you let's gotta not, eat. let's not uh, get that mixed up. Yeah, you gotta eat it. Once so. you get put in the blender, <laughs> oh, get, <laughs> bro, will it, Peach, will it blend? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Man. Now Jack just go. Oh my gosh, this is now. This is really scary. Frozen kind of got to reevaluate re life after those reads. See, if that was a smash forward, forward smash, it would have hit him. But because Falcon has uh, adjusted the way in which he he fights with his fists, not with his elbows anymore. Uh -huh. So <laughs> that's why that move uh, came up short. But yeah, like I said, Jack off to an early start, uh, strong start for the most part. And that's gonna be huge. Like Falcon with momentum is such a hard character to, like rip it away from just because of like his burst options and just yeah. how freaking strong he is. Mm -hmm. But Peach is another one of those characters that can kind of like play at a little bit of a slower pace, and if the damage output is, you know, eventually, yeah, he's dead. Oh, uh, air dodge again. Rude. And he had no jump. Yeah. Bad situation to be in. Uh, once you lose your jump in this game and you're off stage, kind of feels yeah. like melee, man. It's yeah, that's what I mean. Especially if your recovery is like as linear and like poor as it is as uh, Captain Falcon's. Like, there's only so many things you can do to get back to the stage. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised the back air didn't come out on that exchange on the right side of the stage. Falcon Kick and, uh, what is it, Raptor Boost? Uh, a lot better in this game. Yeah, Raptor Boost having uh, armor on it and Falcon Kick just being strong. 
Like, wow, I weird. didn't even know it had armor on it. Yeah, it, it's nuts, dude. And it comes out so much faster. Yeah, it'd it, it be like that, man. Back, Back throw, yeah. yep, gets it done. Gets snatched. Now, the thing that's scary about fighting Peach in this game is that uh, the damage can just come so quickly. And, like, if you're not, you know, reacting well enough to, like, how she, whatever combo starter she hits you with, you're going to yeah. get eaten up for a lot of damage. But Jack continuing to press right now. Now, on that, I'm surprised he didn't uh, reverse uh, fair that uh, after that down there on stage. Nonetheless, I mean, pretty even game that we got going on right here. These two just slugging it out, kind of yeah, trading man. blows. For sure. Ooh, bad Ooh. situation. Good tag by Frozen. Yeah, that's huge right there. If he didn't take that, that would have spelled his demise for sure. And that side B by Peach, really hard to react to. So if it touches your shield, very often you are not going to be able to punish it. So you might as well just get out of dodge. Yeah, dude. All right, Nair once again going to read the roll in. I like the high recovery there from Jack, but Frozen in good position to punish it. Yeah. And Peach cover just covers so many options at once. Like if your movement is great with Peach, you can cover the entire ledge and react to uh, different options. Yeah. Jack unfortunately caught up Esports Creek without a paddle again, <laughs> uh, and then gets nicked by the turn up. Oh, jeez, man. Mm, great spacing on that uh, down tilt. He, he down tilted his shield first, and then he thought he could punish it, came out of shield, and got hit with the next one. But that backer gonna smack Peach right in the face. Yeah, man. <laughs> as good as Peach is, she is still a dainty princess that uh, explodes sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! Lord! That was clean. Can I get a victory theme, please? My man. <laughs> My damsel, will you take this knee? <laughs> yeah, Peach, take it. Yeah, Peach <laughs> drops her <laughs> handkerchief, and then Falcons is like, I right. <laughs> ah, I'm going to take it this knee. <laughs> I love that. I love how that's become, like, iconic. Like, it's just... Oh my god, I'm so upset. That's so good, man. That's so funny. All right, man. But like I said, that was huge for Jack right there. Like, you saw it near the end of that last game, where yeah. just how quickly Peach can just add on the damage. Hit and damage. If, yeah, and if, if you're not di incorrectly, correctly, like I said, you're going to, you know, eventually you're going to be at like 70, 80% you're not going to realize it. What was that hitbox? My oh, guy. Was nuts. My guy, what was that hitbox? <laughs> that hitbox was huge. Jeez, man. Yeah, that hitbox was insane. That's okay. Once again, wow. Up in the break zone with the, the the raptor boost right there. Okay, tries to cover the end. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, and he, he had the uh, the state of mind to reverse the up B. That was really good. Yeah, man. Oh, frozen going oh, for this something. Might be bad. He's going for something cheeky right there with the peach bomber off stage. But. Yeah. Nonetheless, that was really good because he um. Oh, he was geez. able to uh, recover from it. All right, so Frozen has brought himself uh, back in the game for the most part here. Jack, the, the big thing I've seen from Jack is that he sometimes like kind of swings for defenses. And it's, it's really easy to lose yourself with Falcon. Back is not going to kill just Yeah, uh, nice right hitbox, though. Nice hitbox on that back end. Nice you tried, to, you tried to get off and punish it, too, but... Uh, going to the stage. Going to keep his jump as well. Mm. Like the idea, but just face yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I feel like uh, I feel like he should have just went for the stage, took the hit, and been prepared to tech. Yeah. But, but like we said, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Okay. Back there we in, go. Back in from the left side of the stage. Yes, I do that. Falcon says, <laughs> I can do that. Okay, double down there on the shield. If you start that down there early, you can definitely get another one on shield. It's Dude, a great Peach mix is, up. Peach is so cool. But like my God, like my hands are screaming. Mm -hmm. She has, Peach has the mix, man. Okay, mix. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fa although Falcon was high, um, he may have been able to get another, uh, another nair after that to continue the combo. Nonetheless, Jack got to find his footing here. He's taking a lot of damage on the second stock. Hasn't really touched the stage. Okay, yeah. here we go. Ooh, that was a good air dodge punish uh, from Jack right there. But Frozen, again, just escaping, uh, you know, further damage with the Peach Bomber to cross up. Mm -hmm. And Jack doing a really good job of covering area with his movement, but um, he's oh, just really good. Oh, oh my god! No jump. Oh, and you made it. Nice. Oh, Falcon still having some pretty good, good, pretty good set of magnet hands. Yeah, he's got good drift on that up B still, thank God. Otherwise, yeah. he'd be like an awful character. Ooh, tried to punish whatever that was coming out of shield. Oh, and almost got it too. The fact that he could not punish that was insane. 
Jack continuing to, to you know to play coy here, not uh, giving in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that peace bomb are gonna put him back on stage. Has has stage control. How does Jack make it back without taking too much damage? Has his jump gonna he get hit with the turn up up behind? Ooh. But that fair gonna eat it. Gonna eat it. 14 carats of pain. Bro, bro. That was so brawling. <laughs> My man. Yo, I love Jack for that. That was so dirty, man. <laughs> I can't believe he just did that. Okay, Frozen is angry. Jack has yet to touch him. Okay, damage. 75. And that would have killed. I like the idea. He was trying to read the low recovery right there, but Jack, you know, probably uh, feeling in his bones that was going to happen. Jeez. And that man, he's only put on 4%. That's like a jab. Okay, how do you make it back without. <laughs> Four throw? Okay, going to put him back off stage. Ooh. And the score is even up to 15 So love. good. Frozen covered so many options just by floating and throwing that turnip down. He threw it down so he couldn't air dodge down or um, take the drop zone. Yep. He had to come straight at the stage. You could have eaten a, um, a fair. He opted to just wait for the complete last option, baited out the Raptor boost, and he ate a forward smash for it. Well that's, played. Yeah, that was really good play by Frozen in the end of that match. All right, so we are even in the rubber game here. Uh huh. So whoever goes up here is going to be in huge advantage, obviously, going into uh, you know game four mm -hmm. and potentially five. So see what happens here, man. Like Jackson, a good job playing hit for hit with Frozen, but yeah. you said it's obviously in the edge guard department where mm -hmm. you know he's getting exposed because it's Captain Falcon. Yep. So he's going to have to play a little bit better defense. He's kind of getting hit with. Uh, he's jumping in the air a lot, and he's getting hit with uh, moves coming back down to the stage. So. Um, that's where, it, that's where it gets tough. All right, so immediately, uh, a lot of the same start from Frozen here. Just huge damage coming out uh, to start. Jack trying to fight back. Again, going for a lot of these high recoveries. Going for something a little cheeky right there with the knee out of the down air. Yeah. I mean, why not? You're that, yo, that hitbox is so big. It, it actually starts behind Peach's head. So if you are on top of her, you will get clipped. You ever been hit by a crown before? Yo. <laughs> nah, not lately. <laughs> not this week. <laughs> <laughs> that hitbox is actually really big. Bigger than I thought it was. He's real good. Just going to get the weaker hit of that back air. Oh, Lord. And the Falcon dive. Nice. Connects. I'll take it. Okay, now Jack's staying pretty right now. Okay, just going to turn around. 170, that did not kill. Ooh, man. That was some great DI. I mean, he just, he, he died to Nair just now, but <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls over. He's like, whoops, I dropped like, my oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, oh, he got me. Oh. Okay, so he misses the tech and just eats something for it. Okay, damage. Second hit of dash attack, not going to hit, but he's going to get caught with that uh, Falcon up B. Hugs. Oh. Wow, he tried to grab, he tried to shield grab the down tilt, and uh, Peach Jab actually came out before he was able to do it. Broke it up. Okay, gonna throw Jack off the stage right now. No, Tries to come to the drop perfect. zone, but doesn't get it. Uh, once again, here we go. Gonna take a no, lot wait. of damage coming back to no, this. No, no, no. Never mind. Yeah, I'm in Okay, now back here, gonna do it. <laughs> Ooh, down tilt's gonna connect once again. Oh, gets the read with the down smash, just okay. coming up short right there. All right, so now trying to get something going right now. Jack continuing to fight right now. Like, I got to say, I'm really impressed with the survivability Jack's been able to, like, live to. Yeah. Like, Frozen's been consistently taking a lot of these stocks at, like, 170 or whatever. Um, geez, he was pixels away from yeah, that Yeah, I like, and I like that reach. He hasn't done it too often. Definitely could have been a mix-up. But listen, I'm catching those ankles. Give me those ankles. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> the up air connects. Okay, Fair gonna put him off stage. Nice, nice conversion. But that Nair coming back down by Frozen gonna get him out of trouble. Okay, gonna throw the turn off, off stage, covering Ooh. the drop zone. Nice job by go. Jack. Raptor boost, gonna keep him in the game. Nice parry on the down air. Okay, back air gonna put Jack off stage. How do you get back? Okay, he tried to read an air dodge there with the with the Peach Bomber, which absolutely would have deleted Jack. Yeah, man, for real. <laughs> uh, okay, the mix-up, nice. He waited that out. I still feel it on my bones, though, that, like, knee will probably kill right now. Oh, absolutely. Don't don't catch a knee right here. And hey, you know Jack is looking for it. 
Down smash! Yeah, he's going for the soul! The crown! Just gonna kill right there. So I got the crown. <laughs> Falcon's got a gun, but he's out here respectively fighting a princess with her fist. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in disadvantage, throwing out uh, Pe uh, Peach Fair, it auto cancels on, even on short hop. Yeah, man. Oh. I also cannot stand that uh, that victory animation. By Peach's yeah, victory animation? Yeah, did I win? It's like, yeah, you did. Shut up. <laughs> like, rude <laughs> ass. <laughs> you don't get out of here with rude your lackless aerials. Ass. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Jack on his last licks here. And he's sticking to the Captain Falcon. I'm not mad at that. If Jack plays a little bit more defense, um, or a little bit better defense with his movement, doesn't get caught by this Peach, definitely easier said than done. <laughs> yeah. Getting caught by these stray hits by Peach, able to stay on the stage, because the bulk of his damage is coming just from trying to get back onto the stage. So if he can avoid these situations, then, um, then we'll definitely see a game five. Yeah, we shall see, man. Okay, just gonna Falcon kick to wrap the boost, because I can do that in this game. I couldn't do it in Smash 4, but I can do that here. It be like that, man. <laughs> okay, gonna keep... Good Ooh. job! You see? And that's only because Jack plays Peach. He got... Um, Pe Frozen got the Peach Bomber, but he didn't try and punish it. He backed up, tried to cover the next option. That was really good. But how do you get back, man? Oh, man, that was nuts. Listen, any average player is getting caught by these mix-ups by Frozen. They're great mix-ups, but Fair yeah. gonna do it. Yeah, man. Forward air finds respite. So now Jack finds himself in the deficit again. <laughs> Did you see how long he was stuck in that That was crazy. Force Man is going to put him off stage. That was crazy because, I mean, he canceled it out. So he just, like, extended the hitbox yeah. and ran in immediately. So he could have just gotten blasted by me anyways. But Jeez, Peach man. Dash Attack, a really good move. It'd be like that. Okay, great spacing on these nares. Back air going to find us mark again, but still not going to be enough to kill. Hopping to keep stage control, I like it. Okay, not letting Peach back for free, putting him back on the right side of the stage. Oh, Frozen just gonna roll to the middle, gonna take stage control from Jack. This is now the part about Peach that is so underrated, dude. Like, Peach is a tank. Like, she's obviously a floaty, so like, survivability is like, you know, to be determined later. Yeah. But like, she, like, when she, if you're hitting her and she's not dying, she's just gonna like, it's like that itch, she just can't scratch the middle of your back. Like, she's just a nuisance to kill something. Yeah, definitely. Okay, how do you make it back? This is, this is a scary situation. Uh, tries to shield grab that down tilt again, but gonna eat that jab for it. Okay, that nair gonna put uh, Frozen off the stage. How do you get back? Ooh, back air gonna take him out. Sit on your la your tournament stock now. Hey, Ooh, nice. Okay, here we go. Yep, this is how. I mean, this is how it starts. I mean, you're down a stock against Peach, which is really tough. But I mean, um, not out of the realm of possibility. You know, not out of the realm. Falcon is 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 Mr. Flash. I can kill you with a, a lot of zero to deaths. And he's doing really well. Hasn't taken well, taking two percent yeah, on this yeah, stock right the old, here. The old commentator's blessing. You see, from God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like his punish game's been really good so far, but I think Frozen just kind of caught on to the fact that if he just like jumps at that like 45 degree angle, Falcon can't really hit him with anything. Yeah. Like he's opting to just kind of like float back, punish. Like he's slowed down the pace of the game like significantly. But Jack continuing to press. Like, he's finding a way to make these, uh, you know, to get the damage in. Okay. Back. Ooh, drop zone back here. How do you get back? Ooh, and gonna okay. trade. That was bold, but I like it. You're <laughs> on your last stock of the tournament, potentially. You got to do something big. My man Jack is in it to win it. Okay, go for the Peach Bomber. Not going to get punished for it on shield, though. And you see, Jack understands Peach. He understands, listen, I don't have anything that's going to punish you out of Peach Bomber <gasps> hitting my shield. I can't believe Jack just, like, rolled it into him like that. That was nuts. Oh. And the yep. up smash and gets the job done. I believe that move still has invincibility at the top, so. No okay. Um, that move you still has it? invincibility on the top, so you, can you are you not going to trade with it. You will lose. All right. No, you. Yeah, man. You, you come I on. like it. Come commentate. I mean, Koopa. Okay. Uh, I mean, character, but uh -oh. like, there's definitely aspects about him that made him like. There's just some matches where it's just like, uh, I'm just gonna try to grab you very early and then kill you alarmingly earlier. But okay. Bowser feels like a lot more of like a well-rounded character. Like he still has grab combos, but he's not. His entire game isn't like predicated around it. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. You know, and I mean, the, being that uh, everyone has, there's a universal three-frame jump squat, definitely helps Bowser a lot. Oh, <laughs> my guy, my yeah. guy. 
Did you think you were coming back to the stage for free? Yeah, man. What is a reptile to a goddess? My man, like, my man, uh, my man Utopian Ray put him in yeah. check early. Thou shall not recover low against Palutena. But, but, but that down smash. What is going on? Where do you think, <laughs> where do you think Wolf got his down smash from? Listen, the big boy taught him. Right here. <laughs> But she ain't a lot in there. Good tech roll by uh, by Leon to get out of the mix. But I mean, you're still in it. You're yeah, still man. in the mix. Like as good as these heavyweights are, like characters like Palutena definitely just kind of like invalidate them with how good like neutral air and up air are. Yeah, I mean Palutena put put you in the blender, takes you out the blender, then puts you in the juicer. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, like bro, you're not surviving. Oh, and that if he was a couple frames later, that definitely would have would have uh, covered jump. Very nice tech there from Leon though. Backer finds its mark though, so Utopia Ray jumping in the lead here. Ray, again, having a very, very uh, strong tournament so far. Obviously, guaranteed top five here, winning almost everything in New York, or at least getting top three in everything in New York. Yeah. Ray, definitely one of the solid, uh, one of the solid players in, in New York. Ooh, ah, Leon, this is dangerous. How do yeah. you get back? Okay, when you, when you drop something like that against a character like Palutena with such like a great offstage presence, you have to like you can't just like come up empty like that. Yeah, it's exactly. Very dangerous. Exactly. Because you're either gonna die or you're taking a whole bunch of damage just trying to reset the neutral again. Because you've given Palutena all of stage control. Let her back for free and now she commands the middle of the stage. Which is not what you want to do. Ooh, Ooh get snatched! Yep. My man snatching you, you out here! How do you approach a woman with an explosive flame with a frame six command grab? Very clearly. <laughs> so good, man. That that moves so much better than Smash 4. It was good in Smash 4, but now it's like, yo, you will get snatched yeah. out of shield. It's basically become like Bowser's tool of neutral now. Uh -huh. Like. Alright, I like that was he went low enough to where Ray couldn't just like jump off and like mm -hmm. down air. You will free. be snatched. <laughs> it looks so weird. It was so great. It looked like he snatched her skull just now. <laughs> Come here. Just grabbed again. Okay, forward throw. Opt him to air dodge to the ledge. How do you get back? Okay, just gonna roll, but that covers spot dodge. That nair covers spot dodge. Yeah, Leon betting the farm right there at that down air. Able to find himself a little bit more time here, but Ray's gonna connect that back air. That could have been like a multitude of moves. Neither of us were thrown out. Mm, now that this, in my opinion, this set is pretty much even. Bowser hits like a truck. Palutena will die. Yeah, this could get really ugly. Full if rage on Bowser. This is scary. Jeez, man. That's what I mean. Like, he can he can jump now. It's horrifying. Get, get snatched. My man Leon with the snatchage. Down tilt. Okay. Optin just keep stage control. How do you make it back without dying? You don't. Wow. How do you make it back without dying? You don't, my guy. Get this up here. That was fantastic. <laughs> Great job there from Leon. Like, I'm going to play that. Basically, the entirety of that last set, like, against the ropes. Yep. Like, that was, that was huge on his part right there. So. Absolutely. And you could tell. You see, he wasn't throwing out anything to, like, cover any ledge options to give uh, Frozen, uh, or excuse me, to give Ray the chance to get on stage. He kept all his options open by just jumping and threatening space. Uh, Utopian Ray had to land, had to shield, and he had to get snatched. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> all right, so game two here. Leon, once again, uh, up a game right now. Oh, okay. boy. The bane of, the bane of all of your existences. Yeah. All you big boys. So the good news is his A button's working. Yep. <laughs> okay, Fair gonna put him off stage. Has yet to touch Ray until then. Okay. That near gonna trade. He's gonna get grabbed out of jab there. I'm saying. Put you man. right back in disadvantage. How do you make it back to the stage? You snatch him up. Easily. <laughs> I mean, snatch is pretty much. Snatch Yo, is good. That was really bad DI on that back air. Yeah, that could have been really, really bad yeah. there for Ray. But that shotgun back here, you caught him slipping. The eye and out, almost died for it. Ooh, good dash attack right there to break through zone. Mm -hmm. Down there once again, gonna find its mark. Yeah. Okay, what are you gonna do to make it back to the stage? Oh, Nair. Another Nair. See, Ray's been really good at like uh, dropping the, the, the short and explosive flame. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he meant to do it in that instance. There you go, up tilt. Great up tilt. Although the up tilt started in the front and ends in the back, he was able to catch him because grab uh, and uh, recovery frames. So. <laughs> my guy, Leon! That, that was, was so, so optimal. Oh my god, that was so smart from Leon. Genius, big brain. My man, brain, biggest Bowser shell, my guy. That was really smart. That was absolutely fantastic. He just Knowing that he had the sock lead and he can kind of uh -huh. go for that. Exactly. At high percent at that. He was yeah. at high percent, 
uh, Utopian Ray basically just came back to the stage and he traded his stock for yours. That was great. Again, landing with that forward air aggressively. And Ray's been having, like, he's been getting the punishes on these like aggressive landing options from Leon. But because Bowser's so big, I don't really think he like mines the damage trades. Mm. And Bowser fares so good in this game. Hitbox really big, sends you really far, gets snatched. You might be dead, my guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Get snatched. And Leon up 2-0 on Utopian Ray. This Bowser's Fighting so for scary. A, one game away from uh, sitting in winners finals at this tournament so mm -hmm. far. This would be a nice little look for Leon making this noise. Yeah, man. Like, here's the thing. Leon, because of the way that we stack our rules here, um, obviously the, the monthly events have a lot more weight in them yeah. uh, than this. And Leon, you know, near the end of Smash 4, getting a lot of very good, you know, weekly results mm -hmm. on top of, the, you know, the, split, the sprinkling of good monthly results. Yeah. Now he's, he's so well-rounded. He's got everything right now, man. He is a force to be reckoned with right now. And now we are here. Game three, folks. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh he is one game away from making it to winner's finals. So let's see what adjustments, uh, you know, Utopian Ray uh, opts to make. But right now, it's looking like a lot of the same from Leon. He's just going to, you know, add on to this damage. Like you said, Fair being a really good approaching hitbox because of how big it is in front of Bowser. Mm -hmm. And you see Leon doing a really good job. When he puts a Ray off stage, he's not, although Palutena has great, oh, back here. Get this back here, B. Jeez, Get these paws. <laughs> My man. Yo, this Bowser look, looking so clean, man. Whoever's watching this immediately after Grand Finals is going on Elite Smash <laughs> and trying to get their Bowser yeah. up there. <laughs> it's going to be nothing but repti reptiles for the next, like, three days. We're Tri-State Flavor of the Week, my guy. But like we're like I was saying, Leon doing a really good job of punishing Ray. Every time yeah. Ray gets put off stage, he's eating 30, 40 damage just trying to get back. Yeah, his, his like, reads on, you know, the ledge options have been very smart. Like, mm -hmm. if he recovers high, he's going to neutral air. Uh, the big thing for, also, what I've been noticing is this down air neutral has been working out, like, like oddly well for the most yeah. part. It's almost like Ray doesn't expect it, so it's, it's that good option. Okay. This is so, so scary. There we go. You're the side dead. B once again. And a three stock to one lead right now for Leon. The fear. My man Ray is scared right now. He, he's pretty shook right now. Oh, yeah, dude. This is this is spooky. Look at this. He's just walking him down to the other side of the stage. We're in a dangerous territory right now. Yeah, but, I mean, Ray has stage control right now. He can take this stock. Uh, he has a lot of moves that can do it. But how do we get in? How do we get past this Bowser wall? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's weird. Like, Palutena has great, like, walling tools that you have to respect in general. Uh -huh. Once you're able to get around that, it's just big damage. Like, there we go. Up throw to up air. Uh, will connect. That's a really Don't, bad air dodge right there. Yeah, that was that was pretty scary. Full rage Bowser. There's not too much you want to whiff in front of his face like that. <laughs> covers. Usually he snatches there. He covers the spot dodge with flame. Oh and now the fear God. off the stage. Get off my stage, B. And a three stock from Leon in the clinching game. Moving on to winner's finals. Absolutely. My man Leon put the paws on him. Escorted him to the blast zone. That was nuts, dude. That my guy. She cool though. Yeah, she is. Cool. <laughs> I mean, Palutena, she did get that 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 supreme yeah, man. buff. Hey man, that one sock. I'm just saying. <laughs> one sock. But we got we got another damsel on the screen. We got Ling Ling. Yeah, going to get another reptile. My man Ling Ling. He's been playing uh, Peach since off rip since Smash Four. He let yeah. us know. Listen, I didn't <laughs> jump on the bandwagon. I wasn't playing this character just because you guys think she's good. Yeah, man. Peach mains are in like a, they're in like a very selective club with each other. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's hard to see like new Peach mains break in, but Ling Ling took a little bit of a break at the end of Smash Four. Yeah, uh, has since been training in the mountains and now has come out with a vengeance using Peach and Daisy. Yeah, so we were both equal opportunity royalty <laughs> in these streets. Uh, going up against Wishes. The other oh mm. sweet god, that was crazy. Yes, that was a great. Uh, that was a great counter. Yeah. And Wishes, obviously, he doesn't really need much of an introduction if you frequent any of the Jersey streams. Uh, he's always he's been a top three player in the state for a very long time. Yes. Uh, early Inkling main now finds himself playing Pokemon Trainer, uh, and he's been on uh, he's been on a tear like locally uh, for the most part. So okay, that's gonna get punished. Okay, not a big punish there, but able to take some damage. A 150 cent on uh, Wishes right now. Yeah, the platform there definitely added a little bit of like extra coverage right there for that Flare Blitz to like you know be warranted. Mm -hmm. And I like this switch by Wishes to Charizard. You got to survive. Peach hits like a truck, uh, and but you can hit like a truck as well. That back here, the range on that, deceptive. Ooh. But gonna call out that spot dodge. You're just gonna nair him in place. 
I'm just gonna take the stop. Yeah, and you see, uh, Wish is immediately just opting to go for Ivysaur, not even like looking at Squirtle right now. Mm -hmm. like, well, it's, it's, been, it's been a steady day of, of, of Ivysaur and uh, and of, of Ivysaur and Charizard from the matches that I've seen him play so far. Yeah, I mean, he immediately switched to Ivysaur because he had to confirm with grab, but that Jeez, was a reset. Man. He reset him in that combo. Peach My is, man, Ling Ling. Peach broke, man. Absolutely. Blondes just have more fun, apparently. But I mean, Ling Ling, he sits in the lab, man. He's he's definitely a lab rat. All right, trying to read uh, or, or two frame with the, the forward tilt right there. But Ling Ling pressing Ooh. that cross up forward air from Charizard gets the job done. So which is gets himself on the board. And once again, he immediately switched to Ivysaur. That was dangerous. My man, Ling Ling going. He is out here. He is all the way out here. Okay, back air gonna relieve some of that pressure. Now we got Wishes off stage, 144 sand on him. A lot of things will kill him. How do we make it back to the stage? He's gonna wait, gonna eat that turner for his troubles. Yeah, I've seen Wishes, like, he obviously kinda like just camp on the ledge with, uh, with, with just jump vine whip. Yo! But, yo, baby! What, what was that? That explosion <laughs> was so weird. It looked like he got hit with the turnip and farted <laughs> and died. <laughs> ah, man, that was great. Okay, but Ling Ling, you can tell. I don't know. Are there any Pokemon trainers in New England? Probably that we know of. Uh, I, I mean, don't. I can't really think of any ones that are like notable. So like, yeah. Oh, damage! You're taking all of this damage, and I almost took the stock with it. That was insane. Yeah, I feel like Peach just has like really good tools to kind of like kite around the hitboxes that Pokemon trainer like tends to play with. At least for the Ivysaur in particular, because Ivysaur is like kind of the bread and butter of trainer. Yeah, it's definitely Ivy and friends. <laughs> Absolutely. But that Razor Leaf, such a good projectile to uh, to uh, play the neutral with. But Ling Ling doing a really good job of not staying stationary, not staying where he wants, uh, where Wishes wants him to be. You can tell he he really, he understands this matchup. But I oh, want to yeah. know who he's been playing this matchup with. It could just be like, just straight fundamentals. He's just like, all right, if I do this, you're not going to be able to do that. Uh-huh. But I'm, I don't know. There's another layer he probably, to this. He probably knows somebody. We haven't seen him get grabbed to upbeat by Ivy at all. Wow, that up smash isn't going to kill it right there. That and, was crazy. And even there, ooh, that upbeat going to kill him right there. But uh, even still, he tried to space out uh, on shield, uh, on that Charizard shield, yeah. so he wouldn't get hit by um, up smash. Ooh. So he knew. That was a poor air dodge away from Wishes. He's going to get punished with a grab for it. And now, having to fight really, really hard right now. Like, his def like this deficit is, is looking... Little steep. Gets him with a couple of back airs, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the princess doesn't even need the crown. If she sneezes pretty hard, you might die. <laughs> if she trips. <laughs> like, <whoops. laughs> if she trips into you, Ivysaur, you are getting escorted to the blast zone, my guy. And that's dangerous. I uh, wish he's throwing a lot of razor leaves in. Oh, there you go. That fair going to do it. But I was saying, that um, those Razor Leafs so close in proximity to Peach. If Peach throws out a bear, he's going to eat the Razor Leaf, yep. and then the hitbox is going to be extended right into you. So you can't you can die to that. Yeah, man. Mm. He might know something, though. Yeah, like I said, Ling Ling looking very comfortable in that matchup. Like, he didn't really look overwhelmed by any of yeah. uh, like the Pokemon trainer pressure. Yeah. Like I said, it was a steady diet of pretty much Ivysaur and Charizard right there. Mm -hmm. Like, Ivysaur is going to be, like, your, your big damage machine and also having a lot of tools to kill uh, herself because Ivysaur is canonically a girl in this game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't. I never know what the Pokemon are, so I just, like, call it it. I'm sorry. That's also very, you know, that's that's smart. That's, that's normal of you. I just I just call you by name, you know? That way I don't mess with you. good. Pokemon Charizard, kind of good. But it looks <laughs> like uh, Squirtle was definitely not in favor right there. It could just be like a matchup thing. Like, I feel like the damage that you get from Squirtle just flat out isn't worth it because of uh -huh. how strong Peach is in general. Three, two, and I mean, uh, Peach has the hitboxes to contest Squirtle on the way in, I feel. Uh, and Peach has a projectile. So... Um, it may not be worth it to uh, take it, take that damage. Nonetheless, as he's being put in the blender right now, taking a cool 57%. And we see the color counter pick coming out from, from Wishes. Ooh. Going from May to uh, Leaf, canonically. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of Peaches in that situation would get the turnip into dash attack. Oh, Lord! My God, let me finish talking about what you just did, because it was hot. <laughs> then we could talk about this. Farron, my man, off the stage. That You're was dead. crazy, man. Yeah, there's really nothing that the Wishes could have done there. Like. Whatever, whatever, like region of the stage you tried to recover from, Lily probably had an option for. Uh huh. So. Again, continuing to press right now. <laughs> They're just playing the shield game. Whose shield is gonna get deleted first? Yeah. 
Out of it, up air and down air for Ivysaur are insanely strong. Uh huh. Okay, damn it. Don't let, do not let Peach land on your shield with an air. You have been invited to the mix. <laughs> You've been cordially invited. <laughs> It's like that invitation she sent out at the beginning of uh, Mario Galaxy. Right? <laughs> them, them, them Dear fraudulent. Mario, <laughs> mix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Lingling just continuing to press right now. Mm, there we go. Down throw to up B connects. And that's the first time we've seen uh, Wishes able to connect that in this uh, in this game, yep. in this set. Yeah, that was huge, man. But I mean, if Ivysaur doesn't get that, like, how does Ivysaur uh, kill you? Besides up, a lot of things that Ivysaur does, he keeps you in the air with up airs, and then you're forced to kind of have to come down into yeah. another one until you die. And I think the, the the hardest part with Trainer is just consistently killing with Ivysaur, mm -hmm. because like Charizard's a strong character, but like a lot of his moves just aren't like safe on shield. Yeah. So like it's it's a it's a lot more of a commit to kill with Ivy with uh with Charizard, whereas with, with Ivysaur the kills just seem to come like a lot easier. Yeah. Ooh, and that's the thing. Uh, Wishes would like to get an up air here and there at kill percentage, but with Float, uh, Ling Ling is able to mix it up so well. Oh, he knew. that was smart. He knew. A lot of, I mean, on hit, Charizard might be able to get away with that, but if I if I bait out the hit with this counter, my guy, you're getting you're getting you're getting dead. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like when you're I getting get dead when I get hit by flare blitz, I feel bad. <laughs> so like that was good awareness there from Ling Ling's part uh, mm. to not get hit by that. Yeah, and that down there by Pete's gonna cover the quick switch, so he still got punished for it. But now Wish is continuing to fight right now. This is uh, still a very close game if he can mm -hmm. secure this kill relatively soon. Ooh, there we back go. Here. Take this back here. All the flames, B. And using that time to just immediately, again, go right back to Ivysaur, get the damage that he needs. Okay, just some jab, put him off stage. How do you get back on? You're just going to get up attack. But right back in the mix, how do you get back on? Got to pick the right option. Good neutral air right there. Ooh, gets countered with the up air. And these counters coming in clutch for Ling Ling. Okay, Nair out of shield, fair. Now you see Wishes, he's kind of not pressing his, pressing his advantage. He had uh, Ling Ling in disadvantage just now, Ooh. but didn't really do much about it. But he's going to wait out these air dodges, and this up B going to kill you. My guy, don't don't drift. Great don't job drift. there. Yeah, that was a great job there from Wishes. Like, uh -huh. early on in that game, it looked kind of bad for him. But uh -huh. again, just sticking to his guns and take, doing a lot better job hitting Ling Ling in disadvantage with, mm -hmm. with Ivysaur. Like, Ivysaur's hitboxes are huge, like we've been saying. Yeah. yeah up air is insane. Forward air is a great spacing tool. Up B kills. Like. Mm -hmm. This character has so many tools to just juggle you into infinity and also exactly. kill you reliably. And like, if you pick the wrong one, you're dead. Like, Ivysaur by itself is probably a really good character. Yeah. But I, you can solo main Ivysaur. <laughs> <laughs> solo main Ivysaur. Who do you play Ivysaur? Oh, Pokemon Trainer? No. No, no Ivysaur. Ivysaur. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, that is like uh, a viable option now because the Pokemon do not no longer suffer a fatigue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like that's a big brawl. deal. Yeah, and it's cool because they uh, they kind of gave them all unique uh, abilities yeah, um, or features, kind of like Ivysaur being the middle character, Squirtle being the smaller, faster character, Charizard being the tank. Um, but you want to be well-rounded, and Ivysaur does that for you. I would love a different variant of uh, a Pokemon trainer, just like more Pokemon. Oh, like, okay. So like three completely different Pokemon. Yeah. Like three different, like... Uh, first gen, uh, yeah, just like different, yeah, just like yeah. the generation. I think that would be an interesting touch. But here we go, folks. That would be rubber cool. game coming out for these guys. And a lot you may not have noticed, but that was a dot eyes. That's why he took 39 percent from a uh, uh, from a turnip and a dash attack. Yeah, man, dot eyes is nuts. Oh, and, and now he, he has a stitch. You have no shield, my guy. I'm surprised he didn't peach bomber it. If he pulls, a, if he pulls a bomb next, I'm gonna scream. He's absolutely pulling the bomb. Here we go, bomb. <laughs> I don't know, man, but... Oh, Ooh, another stitch! My you, guy! Bro, are you kidding my me? My guy, if you lose this set, you might not be uh, here to win it. What is in this soil that he's using? <laughs> like, the, fer the fertilizer is insane. Word on Battlefield. I mean, look at the rocks in the back. Might as well be diamonds. Okay, back air. Okay, here's the mix. Ivy Sword does has, mi has mix as well. Ooh, back air is not going to combo in the up air right there. That so. was a, But it looked like he got hit with the belly hitbox, which is a really weird hitbox. They didn't put him in uh, prime positioning. But that down throw to up B, not going to kill yet. Battlefield doing him a little bit of uh, some favors here. Trying to get out of the ledge right now is Ling Ling. There we go. Up smash out of shield. Yes. Great option. When you see that Charizard, do not fall on his shield with anything. 
Don't even think you're safe. Ooh, I like the use of Flamethrower right there. He's forcing Ling Ling to respect the, uh, you know, think about his recovery a little bit more. That was could have been really bad. Yeah, if he if he actually rolls with an air or some kind of aerial, he might have been able to clip him. Yep, fair across the stage, though, will connect. Uh, Ling Ling in the driver's seat, albeit for the early part of the stage right now. Mm, okay, good. get out of dodge. That up smash probably would have killed him there. But that back air going to do the same thing. Okay, just resetting the neutral here. A uh, pretty even percent. Um, now, Wish is going to get the grab. Up air. Another up air going to whiff, though. How do you get back on stage if you're Ling Ling? No, okay. He tries to roll in, but the neutral are going to catch uh, the tail end of that. Yep. Dude, Put him right back in the mix. I'm very surprised that Downer did not connect. That right. move is stupid it's good. so big. It is ridiculous. <laughs> and the memes have been like been coming out of uh, the visualized hitbox. Hilarious. Yeah. And it's not even like there's a sour spot. It's like, B, you get hit, you're getting spiked. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Ling Ling just trying to press his lead, uh, or just trying to get himself back in the, in the game right now, because he's now at the, the percent deficit. Okay. Mm Down in the fair. In another stitch phase. That's like his fourth one this match. That's crazy. Ling Ling, man. you got to win this match. If you don't win this match, I don't know if you'll get another stitch again. Yeah, man. He's. he's, he's there we go. Wish just takes the stock lead right now. Yeah. And that a pretty comfy percent because Ivy's sort of kind of a thicker po like you know, a thicker Pokemon. Yeah. Not gonna, you know, die incredibly early. Yeah, you're not gonna die to just anything. But I mean Peach doesn't care. I'll, I, you're not gonna die now, I'll make sure you're gonna die. Woo! Eventually. Sheesh. That's the type of move you kinda think you're about to punish, but it's like, wait, yeah. I, I've come <laughs> I I messed up. At this moment. Oh my god, he is in his Goal right now. Oh my god! He wasn't even on the screen, my guy. No matter where you go, I will find you. That was Ash's Charizard. I will find you. No, you're wrong. That's Liam, you're right. That's Liam Neeson's Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you thought Liam Neeson had a dog. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> I will find you and I will back air you to yes. take a 2 1 set lead right now. So Ling Ling on the ropes right now, uh, which is trying to complete the all New Jersey. Uh, winner's finals for this mm -hmm. tournament. But Ling Ling not having it. The only him and his guy, Straw Hat, came through. Shouts to them for coming through from Connecticut, New England area. Um, Ling Ling uh, holding it down, making a lot of noise. Ling Ling letting us know, listen, I took a break during Smash 4, but that don't mean nothing. My character, is, I was good with my character before. She's better now. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. She's better now. What a world we live in. What a yeah. future. He also said that um, if you want to play, uh, if you want to play Peach optimally, you probably have to get a Pro Controller. Mm, interesting. Which is what he did. He uh, he made the conversion to Pro Controller. That's very interesting. He seems to be uh, doing him justice, and I can see why. Having that other shoulder button to maybe catch Turnip or do something uh, similar with that. I think having an extra button to jump with is what's huge with uh, using yeah. Peach. As well. I mean, I switched my uh, one of my trick my buttons, well my Z button to jump anyway, so yeah. that really helps. Oh, like, okay, we have the red-headed uh, yes. Prince of the, of the Sarah Sarah Kingdom pulling out the Daisy, and I mean, I'm surprised we're seeing the date. Oh. He knew, he knew Ooh. we went down just a little bit too far. That's uh, that's definitely not what you want to see. So great start there from uh, from Wishes for the for the better part. Yep, and I mean he has a hill to climb because. Ivy has so many tools to keep you out, man. Ivy can absolutely stuff you out. I don't know what it is, man. Like, Peach and Daisy are essentially the same character, right? Like, yeah, there's, there's only one uh, one thing that we found that has been different other than, like, the aesthetics and stuff. Um, it's Daisy's, her box is slightly larger than Peach's. Yeah, it's because she holds, because she still needs her hands up. Yeah. So Just a little bit, though. I don't know if it's just, so. like, an aesthetic thing or just, like, you're trying to see different women to, like, <laughs> kind of, like, you know. I mean, got to switch it up, not me. My guy. Uh, my man Ling Ling don't believe in monogamy. He is not monogamous. <laughs> All right, needless to say, uh, he is still down a considerable amount right now, so. Okay. I have to go back to the Ivy. This is supreme percentage for down throw, up B. You will die. Yeah, okay. you see, he's definitely looking for it. Ooh, goes mm. for the forward smash. I yes. like that option. And look wow. at that. You cannot punish Peach Bomber on shield with too many moves. No. There aren't too many moves that can punish that. Charizard, I got these claws. <laughs> up smash gives you wings, man. <laughs> So now Ling Ling, a considerable deficit right now to come back from. Okay, Peach Bomber going to put him off stage, but I mean Ling Ling, this is a hill. 
Yeah. This is not only just a hill, it's a hill with snow and you got rear wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Like, you are just, <laughs> either you're moving or you're dead. Yeah. And I mean, the issue here is Ling Ling, for the, first, for the set that he won, he was able to control the pace of the match. Yep. Right now, he has no control because Wishes could just camp him out um, and he has to approach. So he's playing Wishes' game right now. Ooh, Ooh that could have been really bad, but smart of Ling Ling just to kind of like float nice. away. Nice. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's going to secure the stock. Yeah. As good of a move as Flare Blitz is, it is incredibly punishable on shield. So. Okay, that roll gonna put him in danger. Okay, he's gonna nair, gonna put him off stage. How do you get back? You can't take too much damage. Ooh, you see him fishing for the grab right there. Yeah, pretty elusive with those air dodges though with his movement. Okay, Lennon's well, just kind of looking a step slow on these like whiff grab attempts. Like, yeah. There was two whiff grabs right in his face, and he just wasn't you know in the right position to punish it. Absolutely. Even on that back air, he wanted to kind of uh, put him in the mix with a uh, turnaround uh, down tilt, but he wasn't able to get the turnaround, so he got punished for it. Ooh! Wow, that hitbox on that fair is so good. And there we go. I don't even know what move that was. It looked like Charizard just it jumped at him and belly flopped. It was it was forward air. Look at it. Here it looks so right weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Charizard's go. face. Jump forward air. Like, what a what a creep. <laughs> 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 oh, what a creep. <laughs> And, and like, he did it. He definitely did it. Yeah, for sure, man. So he's putting himself in prime position to win this tournament. Oh, yeah! We are the Simon! All right, oh. man. So 17th century, I hope, I hope you 17th century vampire hunters are, uh, <laughs> are in for a uh, fun one. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh. So the fact that that sends it back at the exact same trajectory is hilarious. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. So here we go, folks. We're going to have the Great Gonzalez, Rock and Simon Belmont going uh, mm -hmm. up against Utopian Ray, so Rock and the Palutena. Now, I mean, the great Gonzalez, he picked Simon, but I mean, off stage, Simon is going to get murdered. I think this matchup is awful for the Belmonts. It is absolutely horrible. That's still pretty good, though. But it, but Gons, he does, he plays Ness. He's used to being, like, put off stage and dying for it. So his on stage game is notoriously pretty good. Yeah, I think the big name of the game here is just, like, as long as Palatin doesn't get in that space where, like, she can, like, you know, combo Simon into, like, a million percent. Then Gods will be fine. You see again a steady diet of holy water, of uh, you know forward air, forward tilt. Yeah, and the the the, the really nice thing about this matchup is Palutena won't. Uh, with most matchups, Palutena, if you're on the other side of the screen, she can just explosive flame and auto reticle, and like you're getting hit, you're taking damage. Yep. Simon has tools to hit you as well, and they're quicker than auto reticle, and they're quicker quicker than um. Then explosive flame. Yep. So she's gonna take damage for trying to play this game against Simon. <laughs> yeah, but like, oh, jeez, that killed. Interesting. Because the Belmonts are heavyweight characters. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I played them early on. They definitely do feel heavy. So we'll see how this works out. Like you said, disadvantage for this for again for most characters is awful. Mm. Uh, I definitely feel like Palutena when she's able to press her advantage against the Belmonts, it's, it could definitely be curtains. Yeah. <laughs> Does that like have a, a tracking system? <laughs> I don't know. That was funny. Palutena definitely enjoys uh, those uh, hatchet toss. Oh, what? I feel like Uppy would have killed. Yeah, Uppercut probably would have had the the present to kill right there. Uppercut yeah, he, very very strong. Yeah, he was very high after that dive kick. Hey, okay, up air, not gonna do it yet. If you're not using the knives in Castlevania, you're you're messing up. <laughs> All right, so after an early stock loss right there, uh, Ray's definitely found himself back in the driver's seat right now. That's going to kill yeah. outright. My yep. God. Neutral get up. I mean, he was at 140. Neutral get up. That's going to cover all the uh, all the frames that you thought you were safe. Ooh, the, the platform actually messing up the holy water toss right there. Nice. And you see on that conversion, he threw the uh, the cross on the way back. It hit um, Ray. But because he had to catch it, <laughs> he couldn't convert. Ooh, John's mm, He up. doesn't have a jump. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Who just said that? He did a good job. I a hate Ralph job. so much, man. What did he say? Ralph was just as soon as he got gifted, he was just like, "He's so good." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's a. Uh, that was rough. Like that's exactly what I was expecting for yeah. the most part. And if he goes to Simon again, then he's a masochist. Yeah, the, the drop zone is not your friend in this matchup. You have no business being in uh, in that drop zone. You might yeah. as well go high, take the damage, try to SDI in. Yeah. And, and, and pray and pray to the heavens. Look, man, I love Castlevania. I don't like 
I don't like moving like I'm in Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is that is not fun for anybody. And that's funny because that's one thing that um, that Gon said early on uh, when he got the game. He said Simon and Richter move exactly like you're playing yeah. Castlevania. Yeah, you're, you're very stiff in the air and you can't jump anywhere. Uh -huh. Needless to say, uh, he has switched to a uh, a much more fluent character in the air that's not going to dive to a stiff breeze. To a stiff breeze. Instead, yeah. It, yeah, instead of opting to go Ness here, I'm really not too sure what to make of this matchup, but it looks like Ray's definitely putting on the Jets a lot uh, more quicker. I mean, um, as you can see there, Ness's fair is huge. So he can kind of contest uh, the aerials because it starts off uh, pretty fast. If um, Ray is jumping too much, he can kind of stuff him out if he wants to, if he's able to get the read. Um, but, Ooh. I mean, we are still talking about Palutena. Yeah, man. Heavenly. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, damage. How do you get back? Hey, how do you get back? Just walking my dog. You're still here. You're still in the mix, my guy. You thought you escaped. You are not escaping All the right, mix. There we go. Beware of dog. <laughs> you should definitely have a sign of that on the edge. And Yo. Oh, again? Jesus, man. You are not out of the mix. It's like, bro. I do like what Ray was doing, though. He was immediately going for the up B, trying not to, like, buffer another option out of it. Because it's very easy to fall, like I said. There's no hit stun on that move whatsoever. So some people just kind of try to like do something and then they die. Yeah. Like, back throw, you're dead. Voila. You're dead. Let me just fling you into the back zone real quick. It's a good move, man. Let's, let's fling my laundry. Look at this. <laughs> oh, nonchalant. What do you think you are, Palutena? Uh, 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 a goddess? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, just wow. Try just trying to keep Gons in the corner here. Doing a good job of it. But Gons is going to fare out. Why not? Oh, pretty good. Okay. Um, disadvantage gonna uh, switch states. There you go. Good job okay. with the forward air right there. And Gon's doing a really good job. Over here, he opts to just, um, instead of trying to pressure in the corner, he rolls all the way to the middle of the stage and takes supreme stage control. Yep. Absolutely. I'm up with stock. I don't have to force anything. I don't have to get back to him. I don't want to get back to him. I shouldn't. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Couple frames off of getting that down there. Yep, but now uh, I, I feel like getting back thrown now, so I'm just gonna <laughs> dash attack. It's like, yeah, I got time. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay. I'm surprised um, Ray didn't rise with fair there. That would have done some damage to him uh, in that situation. Yeah, man, that could have been really, really bad right there. Then okay. it goes for the up throw, mostly for safe positioning, I'm sure. Uh, God's been having a hard time getting off this ledge. Epto probably would have killed right there. That move does have very. Uh, yeah, Good a lot knockback of knockback. On, yeah, yeah, a lot of high knockback on the uh, desire for friends. Good now, job by Gons. He uh, grabbed him in the flame to take the damage not only from the flame, but from the pummels as well. <clears throat> and now Ray is kind of stuck in the corners right now, able to fight his way out with back air. Mm -hmm. And now has himself a lead once again here. It's a good move. Okay, he's going to get the, the grab off of that nair. Woo. Now, in this game, a lot of uh, the characters if their grab in the air, the grab box is smaller than on the ground. Right. So it's not as easy to get like those resets like Sheik used to get in uh in Smash 4. Yep. So, right, so Gon's gets that stock with the down smash. Uh, now still finds himself in the deficit right here, but as we've seen, Ness very good at racking up that damage very quickly. Now Ray doing a good job of kind of punishing Gon's when he decides to PK fire. Um, if he can, he, well, every time he sniffs that out, he's able to jump right over it and uh, to get a punish from it. It's a good move, but uh, definitely punishable. Yeah, man, he's uh, he's moving right now. Okay, good fair. That fair is such a good tool. Oh, you're not dead yet. 87%, but uh, God doing a great job of pressing this advantage. Yeah, like we said, look how quickly the tables have turned. Good job with that get up attack. Like you said, the invincibility being able to force through the down smash right there. Yeah. Okay, back here, gonna do it. Uh, Ray just gonna wait this out. Good job by him. Is he gonna catch a jump? Yes. No rising down there? I'm surprised. Jeez, man. Oh, mm, nice There catch. you go. Ew, which way did that goes. send him? That was awful. <laughs> you know it that, sent him to the side. That yeah. was so strange. We actually, we've seen that hitbox on a Xeno stream with Mr. E. He right. was about to die, and then like he got hit with explosive flame on the stage, coming back like the tip of it, and he kind of just got bounced off the stage <laughs> and rolled. <laughs> It was, it was pretty funny. Hey, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Nonetheless, he was dead regardless, though. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. If he, Whether he went up, down, left, right, like, he was smoked. Yeah. And I, I hate seeing the Earthbound kids, like, get zoomed in on like that because they just look, like, under, like, high amounts of stress yeah. when they get hit. 
All right, folks, so this is going to be the last licks for the Great Gonzalez. Let's see if uh, Utopian Ray can uh, clean up his plate here. <laughs> and I thought they were going to reset their controllers or something, but no. Just being patient. Yeah, just, just uh, no cell phones, just two people living in the moment. <laughs> I mean, if I saw Ness on, on stage, I don't know what I would want to do either. Uh, cry, probably. Yeah. yeah, probably, yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> like, what would you do if your kids just uh, had psychic powers one day? I mean, what? <laughs> 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 All right, nonetheless, man, uh, the action has continued. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Now you see uh, Ray trying to jump over these PK fires, uh, trying to stuff him out with back air. Um, Gon's doing a good job. He shoots a PK fire, and as Ray tries to jump, he's stuffing him out with fair. Yep. Ray's trying to find some kind of counterplay to that. There you go. Good back air right there from Gon. Yes. How do you get back onto the stage? Ooh, just positioned himself just uh, too f uh, far into the stage where the down smash wasn't going to hang off the ledge. Yep. And the thing is, you can you ask yourself, why did Gon do that? Uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to work like that. Good parry, gets the back throw out of it. Lazy supposed to play with it. And I eat that. I eat that. Psychic <laughs> psychic abilities? Flames? <laughs> what? Flames? <laughs> There's like an old like Dragon Ball oh character. Oh my like, god. light. That was nuts, by the way. I'm telling you, he ha Ness has three jumps free. Dude, remember when they said that like Ness was gonna be worse because Oh, what the heck? Huh. How about that? I know what you're about to say. He's going to be worse because of the air dodge yeah. mechanics. And then, it, and then it was just like, you know what? This game just so kind of nice. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, I can't air dodge 300 times, but I could jump with it, though. Yeah, <laughs> I can just air dodge three. <laughs> okay, back throw going to put him off stage. This is now where Gons wants to be. Okay, going to catch him with the frame trap. Back throw right back <laughs> on stage with the mix. How do you get back on? You just fair. Nah, man, this, that was really good coverage right there from Ray on the ledge right there. Yeah, that moved really hard to parry. It shield pokes. Um, and it's pretty, the hitbox on fair is pretty large. Yeah. Okay. I mean, although he is able to triple jump. Duh. Okay, okay. not bad. Yeah, he'll, he'll take that. Not bad. I forgot it who looked was like he was, It looked like he was trying to, uh, yeah. Like, it okay. looked like he was trying to just reflect it, but regardless, he failed to take the train. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, Gans has somewhat of a hill to climb. He's down 2-0 to... Uh, to Ray right now. That was a very nice parry on the PK fire right there, and he got 55% out of it. That's nuts. Okay, he's gonna back air him off stage. Okay, and opted just to keep stage control. Ray understands how quick this match could turn. This is the great Gonzalez, and he's also playing Ness, who does a Ooh. lot of damage. Yeah, okay. but now he's up. Uh, he's out of jump right now. No High jump. recovery. Have to be back to the stage. How do we do it? Oh, okay. Ooh, I like the attempt. It looks like he was trying to get hit by the PK Thunder. Definitely. Um, but just to, uh, coming up short, so Gon's getting a second chance at life here. Yeah, even if he would have, um, even if he would have got hit with it and died, uh, Ness probably wouldn't have been able to make it back to the stage. So definitely would have been a trade that he Ooh, wanted. Geez. Okay, just gonna dash attack. Yeah, good awareness to, to reflect that. And the footstool because I'm good like that. That was fantastic. Great because job I did that on purpose. Great job there from Utopian Ray. Moving on with a 3-0 over the great. Look Gonzalez. at this. Intentional or not, <gasps> we take I this. don't know. He could have been going for a dare. He could have been. Uh, I, actually, I don't know. You got to input the jump. We got to have another Bowser. In the, oh, we probably have one other Bowser in the whole tournament. But um, Man, that guy ain't guaranteed it. top three. But just as I'm talking about diversity, <laughs> 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 immediately after I talk about diversity, we have a Peach Ditto, which it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Two really good Peaches. Some would um, say Peachy. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to get the uh, the action here with the Peach Ditto. Uh, I'm curious here, because, like, very seldomly every region has, like, one or two Peaches. Like, very rarely do you come across another one at, like, a high level in your region. Yeah. Um, so this is definitely going to be interesting, to, see, to say the least. Uh, I'm going to give the edge slightly to Ling Ling, just because his muscle memory is probably going to be, like, a lot more, like, familiar. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Frozen Disc. Why don't you wait a second, huh? Let us commentate. Anyway, sorry about to interrupt you there, folks. Yeah, I mean, uh, patience is a virtue, you know? I don't even know how to spell virtue. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. 
So right now, uh, Frozen's done a really good job bringing things back right now. Going for uh, something a little cheap. <laughs> Go for a low edge guard right there, but it ends up coming out on top regardless. Mm -hmm. That fair gonna do it. Okay. Nonetheless, we gotta kind of keep track. So Frozen is the uh, pink Peach rocking the uh, 3.02 yeah. tag. I believe that that's Fro from Project Melee. Yeah. Uh, Frozen is a cop because he uses default costumes. Let's just say that outright. <laughs> he is a cop. Yeah. He is <laughs> worse than a cop. He is your probation officer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Hey, damage. Mm, damage. I'm, you I'm, are still in this mix, my guy. I'm curious if, like, Frozen, I'm curious if Peach can, like, combo herself the same way she combos other characters. I mean, she's pretty floaty. Yeah, and it's I, weird. And I don't think so, because a lot of characters, they get caught in the mix because they have to jump. The jump gets clipped, so now you're just in the mix. Peach could float and kind of wait you out. Yeah. So... Maybe it doesn't work the same. I'm curious if there's ever been instances where, like, you know, like most character even, like most character dittos are just like, like option out is even. But like, I wonder if there's like a ditto where, like, it's like yeah, Falcon beats Falcon like six four. Yeah. Like, <laughs> something, like, like something crazy like that. Nonetheless, Frozen, uh, in the deficit, but had the uh, the stage advantage right there. Yeah. There you go. Both guys gonna trade back here's right there. So there's the turn up up for the bait out the high recovery. Okay. Oh, gonna clip. Oh, great tech, but can you make it back? Another tech. Good job, but you're gonna die. Ling Ling on top of both of those techs. He's gonna cover his landing back to the stage. He's gonna grab him. Yeah, that him was very, stage. very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, he wanted the reverse turnip uh, throw, but wasn't able to get it. Just gonna reset the neutral here. Both, the, both of them opting to just throw turnips. There you go, gets a forward throw, mostly for going for the stage positioning mostly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he like purposely like extended the, the parasol through the stage right there just to kind of like get him off him, but he just, nonetheless that was very nice for Frozen. And you see on that, ooh, that back air just gonna beat out Peach Bomber. Doesn't seem like that move has a lot of priority, but it's really good. Still really good. Very good. Very real good. So, so Ling Ling continuing to press his advantage right now. Frozen yeah. trying to get himself. Uh, you know, back in the thick of things. Yep. Hey, Ling Ling got, had nice uh, forward smash. Ling Ling has no problem. Oh, I man. got it covered, my guy. You ever go? To, you ever go to the um to, to dinner with your boy and you're like, yo, I ain't got my bread. He's like, B, I got it covered. That's my man Ling Ling right here <laughs> with the fair. Yo, you want to go on stage, B? I got it covered. <laughs> that was great. And, and then you and your boys leave after this. <laughs> bread. He's like, damn, we can't afford this. My man, that was nice. That was really <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, man. So I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Once again, Definitely. we still got plenty of uh, of action coming yes. forward. Some really good action. So I'm looking up one game right now. I'm curious if I, I know Frozen plays other characters. I'm not sure if he's going to opt to do that mm -hmm. or not. But Who else does he play in this game, though? That's yeah, play he plays Palutena, yeah, right? He plays Palutena. Yeah. Frozen's yeah, a man Palutena. of culture, man. He plays strictly just, like, girls that are good. <laughs> I mean, New York picks up pretty fast on the on the on the top tiers. Yeah, he plays girls in Mewtwo, so mm -hmm. I mean, hey, and Mewtwo's still pretty good in this game. Just a lot of Mewtwo mains don't like the way that Mewtwo feels. Not that Mewtwo is bad. Yeah, Mewtwo's a germ. Um, but <laughs> one thing that they hate though, Mewtwo's entire tail is not a disjoint. Like yeah, in blessed. the neutral. <laughs> yeah. Like Mewtwo will jump, the tail will hang all the way down and be able to get snatched. God bless. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> all right, folks. Here we go. Ling Ling up. One game here. Battlefield's going to be the stage mm -hmm. choice here. I feel like static platforms, I, I mean, it's, it's hard to say, like, stage counter picks in a ditto match. It could just, it's, at this point, it's just, like, stage preference. Yes. Yeah. All about preference, all about where you feel the most comfortable. Ooh, that Nair. You tried to punish the, uh, the falling Nair on shield. Not going to do it, my guy. Going to stuff that out. Okay. And you see Frozen playing a more of an uh, aggressive game, throwing out a lot of hitboxes. His movement's a little more sharp. Yeah, it looks like he's, like, more pressed to, like, break zone more than in the last game because i feel like in a long in like a longer like camping match i feel like li giving ling ling time to think uh, he's probably going to be in the advantage okay here we go what's for breakfast just going to neutral get up into down tilt <laughs> <laughs> nah he's going to cover his roll with the turnip and then just grab them for it okay. Ooh, nice Interesting. Uh, Turnip goes through Parasol. Yeah, very that's, nice. that's very interesting. You would think that it would just like kind of trade, uh, cancel it out, but no. I'm going to miss that punish. There's, there is a height where if you Peach Bomber on landing, it's uh, it auto cancels. But he actually <laughs> missed it there, and, but he didn't get punished for it. What a, what, a, what a country, man. I mean, granted, the height is pretty high. So by the time <laughs> Peach gets to the floor, you can absolutely like lap Battlefield <laughs> and still punish her. 
or at least you should be able to. Ooh. Oh, my mans. Geez. My mans. Yo, that was so, like, ratchet. She you went zooming. He thought he was going to up B, but he was like, nah, let me throw out this hitbox first. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's dead, too. All right. How about that? Use his jump. He had his float. Oh, and a taunt. With the taunt, though. Hit him with the la-la-la-la-la-la. The la-la-la. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the flow canceled the mix. On this platform, what are you going to do? Nice tech or nice roll in. Peach is such a cool character, man. Yeah, man. Peach played optimally, looks absolutely broken. Yeah, both in terms of gameplay and how your hands probably feel afterwards. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so smart. Man, you are dead. You are dead, my guy. He's going to eat this Peach Bomber. The question is, how did you know? Wow. Okay. Okay. Frozen betting the farm on that up smash right there, but okay. just oh, double back. the double decker. To be fair to McGinny, would have been real. You took one ground B. It's okay. I got another one. <laughs> okay. Gonna eat this turnip down there in disadvantage. Just gonna get him back in stage control. Okay. Gonna cover the edge with another down there. Okay. Ling Ling just trying to make it back to the stage. Up a stock though, so he's not too pressured, but taking damage for it. Ooh. Okay. Turnip's gonna give him some breathing room here. Um. Ooh, forward air connects. Yep. Not going to be enough to kill just yet, though. Okay, back air. Okay, going to eat his option uh, coming back to the stage. Now he has 90%. That's about half a peach combo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. okay. So Ling Ling did a nair falling to cover his uh, float cancel nair. And I mean, the, those are frames, B. Yep. You need those frames. And back air going to trade and going to do it. Nair is so good, man. Yeah. What a move. Real good. <laughs> Like, yes, you did okay. win, Peach. And you are now currently up 2-0 in the set right now. So let's see how. So let's see how this works out here. Obviously, frozen down in a deficit. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to give a uh, a shout out to uh, House. House for sure, putting in the good work. Absolutely. Devin has gotten up from the seat once. Oh, hello. We got the Rosa Luma. So this is a throwback. Rosa Luma? I don't care. Rosalina is absolutely Spanish. <laughs> She's Cuban. At, she threw? No, I'm just saying. Canonically? <laughs> I don't know. Is, this, <laughs> is there a space Cuba I don't know about? Or like <laughs> Canonically, that? she is. Uh, she is absolutely Cuban. I kind of. I, I dig like the goth hair, but I mean, I'm a nah. Big fan. Um, Rosa Luma, she thick. Yeah, with three C's. I don't. I don't know, man. It's weird. So Jer I feel like Frozen. He has even been saying recently. He's like, yo, I'm having a lot of fun playing Rosalina now. Yeah, I mean, so. she's the buffs did her uh, did her well. Yeah, I think it's. I've heard uh, Ryuga compared to like 2.0. Is that Nair kind of like? Carries a neutral game right now. Yeah, Nair's really good. I played Snakey at Xeno, and uh, uh, I was surprised. <laughs> Why did you say that? Needless to say, Rosalina still probably has the same issue she had in the last game, where she's a this big, uh, lightweight character, and now you can't, uh, like, because the way that Luma's different, like, Luma can't, like, bail you out of combos. Uh, forward air is still very good for Peach, though, so that's going to get the, the stock done. Yeah, I'm going to eat that fair coming back to the stage. I mean, it doesn't really look like... I mean, you were playing Peach before. Peach and Rosa, two completely different characters. There's a buffer. You got, you kind of got to get into the swing of things, but I think he got it, though. Why does Luma scream when, it's, when it hits you? That was, know, a, that was aggressive. Look how angry Luma looks <laughs> when, when, it, when it's hitting you. So angry. That was insane, man. All right, so Luma is dead. So for the next uh, few or so seconds, uh, I'm not going to have it. Is it still 13 seconds? I think so, yeah. That's something that we got to lab. That we should probably find out. If yeah, Rose not if the character's like relevant tier. in the meta. Exactly. Again. People are going to be playing this character, so we got to know now. God, I hope not. Oh, that was dangerous. Ooh. He didn't have a jump, so he used the, um, I don't know what to call that move, the, the Luma toss. To yeah, try and cover the edge? Yeah, it's uh, the Luma shot. Okay, the Luma shot to cover the edge, but uh, didn't have enough height on that upbeat and recover. Wow. Interesting recovery right there from, uh, from Ling Ling. But still find himself pretty uh, firmly in the driver's seat right now. Yeah. Again, I don't know if like Rosalina has that same like 
insane like comeback potential like she did in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this character is still like kind of a, a newer commodity since people are playing her again. Yep. Yeah, and it's a different matchup. Like you, you I mean, you're not gonna beat Ling Ling just because you picked a character that beats his character. Yeah. You have to know the matchup because he's been playing this character since uh, yeah, and, and, Smash and, 4. And saying that Rosalina beats Peach is like a, a far cry from like yeah. truth. To take take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. Disclaimer. It. That's not what I meant. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Oh, that was nasty, my guy. That was clean. He's still not dead yet, though. Goes for the high recovery. Ooh, he tries to read an option. Now, nah, Ling Ling playing with his food, man. He was moon. Clean up your right play, there. man. Don't play with your food, my guy. There we that go, was, folks. Nonetheless, that was clean. That was really good. Looks so like we're gonna have winners finales coming up. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. So here we go. As Goffin goes to take care of some business, uh, we're going to get into winner's finals here. An all-Jersey winner's finals here. So the house is almost successfully defended, depending on uh, how loser's finals goes against Ling Ling. So I think again, I hope you guys are having a good time so far. You guys can Also depends on your definition of house. I got to go, man. No house. Frozen's out. House. Jokes. You're, oh, you're Jokes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> can you tell another one? Maybe uh. one that's like funny? Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. The best part is, My Devin, puns. we get to spend the next two weekends together. Yeah, dude. Three, two, oh, they just getting into it right now? Go. Yeah. All right, we're jumping into it, folks. Here we go. Winner's finals here at the first chapter of the Legacy Circuit. Leon versus Wishes. Yeah, officially at everyone who now qualifies for the, the, the championship. All right, congratulations to them. So, <laughs> I was saying... <laughs> Smallest violin over here. <laughs> <coughs> okay. For those who don't know, top four of all of these get invited to the championship. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> it's like Christian Bale yelling at that extra on set like right. 10 years ago at Terminator. It's like, oh, look at me. I'm Leon. I'm invited to the championship. Yeah. Look at me. I'm Leon. I'm down a stock. <laughs> all right. So I was saying earlier that I think Vivid Strategies, he tends to, like, play a... Uh, he tends to, like, depending on the matchup, he'll definitely, like, favor certain Pokemon over another. Uh, looks like a, a steady diet of of, uh, of Squirtle for the most part to start. That's going to be Death Snow. Ivysaur Shield, a, uh, a chunkier Mon. Ooh, that was a, it looks like that was just an F-Tilt that did not do anything. Continuing to press right now. Great job using these forward airs. And the up he connects, and Wow. What an explosive start here from uh, from Wishes. The Command Ground finds Respite, though, so Leon gets himself on the board at the very least. Okay, so it looks like what I've noticed so far is that optimal Pokemon trainer strategy is using at least two out of the three consistently, and the third one just kind of hangs out and holds the water bottles. So right now, it's looking like a very Squirtle and Ivysaur-centered uh, matchup right Charizard's now. Charizard's the closer, dude. This is 9 to 5. Right? <laughs> He's just like, all right, time to clock in, you know? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Answer some phones, maybe get some overtime. Mm-hmm. Even Ooh. if he's used all of his overtime, he still does it just for the love of the job. <laughs> Ooh, Flare Blitz High to be able to get out of trouble right there. That might result in damage. It does result in damage. Ooh, that guy's gonna miss his mark right there. Interesting. Okay, so like I said, Charizard clocking in for that 9 to 5 right now. Up smash out of shield once again will find its mark. Up, and there we go. The upper juggles uh, proved to be very good. And uh, Wishes goes up one game here. You did do amazing, Charizard. Really all proud you. of you. Every, it was all you. Yeah. Shout out to May, man. No one else had any effort <laughs> put into it. All you. All right, as we await the game two coming out from both these guys, let's see how, uh, how things stack up here. Wow. Wow, it is uh, it is only 6, it's not even 6.30 yet. Yeah. Not bad. We're making some good uh, ass time right here in this tournament. Yeah. So, Wish is uh, banning Town and City, and we're going to FD. Probably a good choice. Mm-hmm. It's just like... I, 
actually, it's a, I'm a little bit worried about that just because of like the juggling uh, property, like the juggling skills that yeah. Ivysaur has this and Squirtle, and then like how big of a body that yeah. uh, Ivysaur. Uh, this yeah, this is gonna be a very is. volatile matchup yeah. on both ends, I think. Like I hate using that word, but like it is what it is. When it's volatile, it's volatile. Yeah. Ooh, down throw to down air is a thing. Okay. All right, just the water gun on deck right now. Ooh, withdraws, uh, not gonna do anything, but at least by switching some time to switch out into Ivysaur right now. Kind of rack up that middle percent damage and potentially net a kill. That is just so good. There's just characters that straight up can't do anything about that. But continuing to fight right now, that downer is gonna go unpunished, gets the command grab out of it. So now Leon continuing to push advantage, wishes. Goes for some mid-range zoning right there. Now eventually has has stage control oh, back. Wow. And there we go. The land of the rising sun hitbox of down air. I feel like that's definitely gonna be uh that's that's strong in a lot of these stages. So. I think her such a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it. Uh, that, that is that's a good damage coming out from uh from Squirtle. Yeah, and then that's gonna go punish. Goes for the up throw to the up B, not gonna be enough to kill just yet. Did manage to land the tipper on the vine whip, but Bowser's a heavy boy. Yeah, for real. And I'm continuing to play chase right now. I'll smash out a shield. Looks like uh, we almost wow. Finished. wow. This has been looked pretty like both these games have started like very strong for wishes right now. I don't know if it might. I don't know if it's too good of an idea to stay Squirtle, considering he could pop at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> He, doesn't, he literally just did the same three things in neutral. This is like some mind games. All right, trying to be really cheeky and go for like a, a suicide kill combo right there. I don't blame him. Like at, yeah. the, at the percent that he's, at the percent in stock that he's up, like he could really just kind of like spool around right now and like still be in pretty good shape. Definitely gonna play around with it. You know, I keep, I have this like, I always am anticipating Rage Week to like come backwards, like other like. Boomerang projectiles, mm. and then when it doesn't, I look like an idiot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they just go on and on and on. Ooh, okay, good call out on the back air with forward air. Oh, wow, it's actually interesting that the Charizard's like ba back air. Oh, <laughs> ew! That neck, though! He's so strong, it's actually ridiculous. This is 9 to 5. There's a reason why he volunteers for it. Pokemon God. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just want the Pokemon show to just be like, hey, everybody sucked except you, Charles. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I would love that. She gives us like status reports on like how everybody does. <laughs> it's just like, everyone did garbage. <laughs> you're except all, you, Charles. You're, you're all trash. You're all right, though. Real star of the show over here. You can do it. Charizard. All right, folks. Here we go to some. Yeah, coming on ba right on back to FD. Um, I guess like there's just like Leon's just trying to pick his poison at this point, where he's just like, uh, I, if I change up my game, I'll try and mix up. But right now, just wishes has control of it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see if Leon can make like the necessary adjustments he needs. Right now, like the, the, the way that the pace of that these games are gone. Oh lord! Up he finds its mark. So there we go. Back air is going to connect once again, but not coming up to kill just yet. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so that I like the I like the attempt right there from Wishes. Like he's definitely just trying to put this away where uh, Leon can't like reach it. Yeah, he's just like out maneuvering him in like so many ways. It's just like I'm just going to play a little bit reactionary. Jeez, man. Or it looks like he does really good against these like slow, heavy characters. Good pair right there, but again, just gonna get another jab for his pain. All right, again, just a lot of like camping back right now. The backer's gonna connect. All right, so now Leon finds himself in advantage for the first time uh, this entire set. Let's see how he uh, handles it. Gonna get a quick 22 in change uh, for that side beat. Oh, the wow. That's a lot of damage, my god. Alrighty. He 
pressured him so hard that like <laughs> followed him so far off the stage that like he was like if I get hit by this I'm gonna die so I have to air dodge and it was like we're already dead. That's the bait. That that's that's my secret, Captain. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm already dead. It's like oh that explains the smell. Ooh, trying to get out of disadvantage. I like the attempt with the pivot grab. The uppies, not enough to kill just yet, but got the sparks on it though. Yikes. And the forward smash is enough. Wishes moves in the grand finals with a 3-0 over Leon. That was very convincing. How, how you say destruction? Destruction. No, seriously, how do you how do you say it? It's hard. Destruck shun. Destruck. Destruck. There we go. Losers semifinals. More princesses. I mean, excuse me, uh, deities. Okay, I, and now I want to learn this matchup because I don't think it's too bad because um, I play Peach and right. I lose to Palutena again in this matchup. Sorry to tell you guys, but um, <laughs> I don't think it's too bad for Peach. I don't think so either. I just feel like, because I saw this earlier when uh, when Odyssey, or I said it earlier when Odyssey was playing Ling Ling, but like Peach is one of the few characters that can like contest Palutena like air to air. Uh -huh. Like. Her air, like her nair is just as good as Palutena's nair, albeit she's not gonna get like the same like combo potential out of it. But when she trades and like being able to string hits together, Peach makes up for in stage control. Just because yeah. her moves are so freaking strong. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I mean, if uh, Ling Ling wants to call Ray out on these uh, nairs, he could just uh, short hop air. Yeah. Try and space him out, and then pull it right back. It's a great tool. It's real good, man. N needless to say, uh, pretty much an even game right here. And we'll see how this works out. Like right now, Lingling just kind of pressing his advantage right now. Goes for the up throw. Yeah, and I mean that's good. You want to put uh, Peach in as much disadvantage as you can. Although she has float, which kind of gives her some uh, couple free cards back to the stage. Um, if you can make her use that float, she's very floaty. Yeah, it, it provides good coverage for her at the very least. So okay, now we got uh, Ray off stage. How do you make it back? Uh, you're just gonna get up attack. Or, uh, excuse me, neutral get up. That's yeah. gonna do it for Ooh, you. Explosive, explosive flame's gonna, flame. there we go. Yep, explosive flame gonna yeah. do it. And that's the thing, a lot of Palutainas, good Palutainas, they don't put the explosive flame where you are. They put it where you're gonna, where you're gonna try yeah. and like retreat to, which is a great tool. Oh my, you, you can't make it back. Oh! But I'm gonna kill you anyway. He didn't have to do that, seeing her on the way out. But yeah, like you said, like, Palutainas mad nice, man. Oh Lord, okay. That was very aggressive right yeah. there from uh, from Ray. But nonetheless, uh, he smells blood in the water right now. He's just mm -hmm. trying to push his advantage as far as he can. Absolutely, and that's what you want to do. One Peach is in disadvantage. Um, she has good tools to get out, but if you can sniff those out, you can you can definitely put, get, give her some more damage. Which is, it sounds pretty basic, but um, that's the name of the game, man. It's kind of just sniffing out her uh, mm -hmm. her her next option. Peach, yeah. you're not really going to punish her first option. A good was, Peach, go ahead. No, I, I was, yeah, I was going to say, I said it's supposed to play meets and smarts. Something that I really like that what Ray's been doing so far is that he'll like, he's really good at changing up his pace, both not only in neutral, uh -huh. but also in regards to edge guards. Yes. Like he'll just kind of sit back, he'll throw the explosive flames, like I said. But you mm -hmm. saw earlier in that last exchange, he went like super crazy and went off stage to try to edge guard Ling Ling low. Mm -hmm. So like, it's definitely a, it's an extra reactionary like level. Uh, for Lingling to account for. Absolutely. And the thing is, a lot of people are really afraid of explosive flame on the ledge. And don't You don't need to be afraid of that move. No. Although the explosion is happening right at you, Palutena is still stuck in the recovery frames of yeah. the move. So you can literally just wait it out. If, if Palutena decides to put it over your head, roll on stage, and you're completely safe. Yeah. If she you cannot up, act out of that. Yeah, if you end up in between Palutena and the explosion itself, then you're golden. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that move is strictly like a punish and like stage control tool. You can't use, use it in neutral. Yeah. Although the way that Ray uses it, I like it. Because he tends to, he opts to use the shortened version of it, which like uh, kind of covers that in-between area that Peach is probably going to yeah. jump at. So like, at least gives like Ling Ling like, another option to have to like account for. Mm -hmm. And the fact that that platform is right there doesn't do uh, Ling Ling any favors. Trying to come up from the top, you have to go through the platform to get down to uh, Palutena. Nice catch on the on the Peach Mama right yeah. there, but uh, Ling Ling, this looks like it could potentially be spiraling out of control for him right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's not easy to, ooh, and that Nair gonna put you off stage. What are we gonna do to get back? Ah, uh, obstacle high. He didn't want to get caught with the parasol, but he's getting caught with that rising Nair. All right, so 88% uh, on his tab right now. Let's see how a Ling Ling opts to bring this back, or is Ray gonna just 
push this forward and win the first game. Mm -hmm. Nair gonna put him off stage. Ling Ling just trying to make it back. That explosive flame not gonna hit his target. Great down smash by Ling Ling. Dude, he's gonna cover both uh, sides. Down smash still like provides like great damage for mm -hmm. these. Like that move isn't as like insanely broken as it's been in like other smash yeah. games, but like it's still very very good. Yeah, it doesn't kill very early. And you can see Ling Ling, he's trying to run underneath the uh, auto reticle. Because if you can get past a certain space, you're going to die. But I'm just going to fling you into the blast zone. I still do this. I still escort people to the blast zone with yeah. my back throw. That was a very, very good job there from Ray. As we get the ban on uh, Town and City right there. Mm -hmm. So It looks like Battlefield will be the stage of choice. Got to say, big fan of the stage selecting tablets uh, right there. Absolutely. Like, House of Three Thousand continue to find ways to uh, to innovate and you know make your tournament experience that much easier to follow. So, okay, so same matchup, rocking that Peach, rocking that Palutena. Um, and we're going to Battlefield. Okay. Yeah, this, we... this stage has proved about to like work for Ling Ling in the past. It's definitely a comfort thing at this point. Okay. What it's is like... the song that's playing though? Yeah. It's taking forever to start. Or it started. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in like the opening scenes of a James Bond movie. Or yeah, right? Somebody's about to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Down there into fair. Great conversion. A lot of damage. Great stage positioning afterwards. Okay, a little overzealous with that down there. Gonna give Ray a free path to the middle of the stage. Nonetheless, gonna reset this neutral and put him back at the edge. Yeah, there we go. Ray breaks zone though with the neutral air. Again, proven to be a, a, in, uh, like an all-inclusive in tool for Palatana. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's a, a really good phrase, breaking the neutral. In this matchup, whoever breaks the neutral uh, and is successful in that usually gets um, a lot of damage yeah, and zone, a zone lot of stage control. Yeah, zone breaking in this matchup is like far more like violent than it is in like other ones. <laughs> I like that. Violent, yes. They're throwing out hitboxes, meaty hitboxes that hurt. All right, Take. so let's see how this works out here. Again, uh, you know, Ling Ling in the percent lead, but Ray has done a really good job fighting his way back. Okay. Now, it looks like uh, Ling Ling is looking for something. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but maybe in this matchup he understands something that uh, Ray can give him because he's, he's just standing in, in the middle of the stage. Oh, that up air, going to do it. 140 Rage on Palutena. Ling Ling sitting at about 110 after the hit. Fun fact, that move was actually much stronger in uh, Smash 4. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. The knockback on it was, like, way bigger, so, like, it would kill, like, super early. But the good thing is no one ever got hit by it, so. I don't think it was as large, though. The hitbox on, in, on this, on up air in this game, oh, my, it's the entire wings. It's not just, like, the sparkle <laughs> on top of her head. No, I'm hitting you with all these wings. Nice. Empty land into a grab. Oh, God. From, and that, from there? And that's what Peach does. You know what I mean? If she's coming at you from the top, you have to be. She puts you in shield. If you're not getting out of dodge, you're being put in shield. He recognized that situation, and he just landed empty and grabbed you. It'd be like that sometimes, man. Right? I do the snatchings. <laughs> I will snatch you. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Good use of the f right there. Yeah. Good get off me tool. And I mean, Palutena's uh, moves in Smash 4. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, turn up conversion. But I mean, her normals in Smash 4 were good. They were just so laggy. Yeah. So you could never really use them. In this game, the end lag has definitely been reduced, or the cooldown, whatever you want to call it, recovery frames. And yeah. now she's able to use them. God is a woman. Actually. <laughs> Palutena. There you right, go. Down sort of there. Ooh, OK. Hey. Just running over the explosive flame. I like that option, though. Ling Ling picking a lot of options, but I mean, uh, Palutena's kit just seems to be counter uh, counteracting um, his options oh, very well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So far, and, no one has landed a successful bomb so far. It, it's funny, because in this game, um, you're more susceptible to drop the bomb. But the bomb doesn't hurt uh, right. Peach. So, like, uh, oh. I saw Jack do that uh, earlier in Friendlies. He grabbed the bomb against Glenn. And he just held it in his hand and waited for Glenn to hit him. <laughs> and then he, or that was last night on stream. <laughs> oh, pretty yeah. Funny. That, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. All right, nonetheless, Ray in the lead right here, and he's just going to hit the B button. Oh, nice. Nice movement to get around the auto reticle. Uh, Ray wasn't ready for that, uh, for that option. Yeah. 
Auto Reticle both carrying players in Kid Icarus Uprising, as well as uh, Palatana when she has a lead. But uh, Ling Ling able to even things up stock-wise. Let's see if he's going to be able to get himself back in it damage-wise. Yeah. And for those that don't know, Auto Reticle, it, um, oh, he might have used his jump. He might have been in trouble. But for those who don't know, Auto Reticle on, it has a certain amount of frames. It might, I'm not sure exactly which frames it, it is. But during those frames, that's when the lock one happens. So if right. you're able to uh, not stay in the same place, uh, evade that target, the bullseye, uh, you can punish uh, Palutena for it. More you learn. Okay, here we go. Just Six face. Yes, and this is big. This is big. He could uh, really... Look at shield damage. If he was oh any God. closer, his shield would have popped. That was such a great, uh, a big brain play. Just going to miss on the Peach Bomber, but now he has to get back to the stage. How do you get back safely? Oh, I like Good you. Good wait. And that Nair going to cover the edge. Oh, jeez. That could have been really bad for both players right yeah, there. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Okay, just going to jump over that... Um, that explosive flame. How do we get back to the middle of the stage? Ray keeping complete stage control. Very threatening with these back airs. That near not going to shield poke. Ooh, throws the explosive flame, but going to get crossed up and hit with the, uh, the forward air. Yes, that flow cancel. Very nice by Ling Ling. Okay, right back in the same situation. How do you get past this wall? Okay, ill-advised Nair. And that fair going to catch him wow. coming out of shield. And he's done here. So we will at least see a fourth game yes. in this set. I like it. And this is for fourth place here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, good job. We'll see how this goes on here. Winner has a date with Leon in the uh, losers finals. Uh huh. So Ray definitely looking to seek revenge for his winner semi set, and uh, Ling Ling trying to get back to uh, to get seek revenge on uh, wishes. Yes. So a lot of vengeful uh, players left in loser bracket right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be there. I'm, I mean, playing this matchup, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be too happy knowing that I gotta go face that the snatch king, <laughs> the snatch king next round. Cause yo, <laughs> I might just tell like if I'm Ling Ling or if I'm Ray, I'm like yo, you got it, man. You could just go ahead. And yeah, man. You want to split? <laughs> <laughs> GGs. Man, cause. Leon putting fear in the hearts of little boys. Yeah, dude. and the girls. He's the monster under the bed. Yeah, absolutely. Or he's the tax collector. Either one. He's scaring adults <laughs> and children out here. <laughs> That's the monster. In the Shout out to my mom, who's my accountant. My God. Oh, that is godlike. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Ooh, boy, you did your taxes yet? Already handled. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. My, my taxes were done weeks ago. Mmm. Okay, just trying to float out of danger just now, Ling Ling, but able to chase him with the Nair. Okay. Ooh, I like the, the immediate back throw right there. Instead of just opting to go for the down throw combos, at least continuing to keep the disadvantage yep. uh, on for Ling Ling. And you see Ling Ling, he's trying to do these peach. Oh, up tilt, so good. Really good in this game. It kills, it shield pokes, it threatens. Like, she looks good while she does it, too. Yeah. Strike and a pose. <laughs> Okay, that Nair gonna put Ling Ling right back off stage. I mean, he's putting on a good amount of damage uh, onto Ray here, but it doesn't look like he, it doesn't feel like he's ever been an advantage in this match yet. Ooh, okay. Okay, nice air dodge. Yeah. He's gonna get grabbed for it. Up throw. Not gonna yeah, kill. That was uh, super smart on the part of uh, Ling Ling right there. And Ray being really solid. That back air gonna trade. I mean, that back air gonna trade with Peach Bomber, and that's not a trade that you want. Yep, definitely a trade worth taking right there. So. Okay, yeah, it's going to cover that uh, roll. Okay, covering all options on stage. You can't roll, not for free. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice Nair once again. And now Ling Ling's the one keeping Ray at disadvantage. Nice. Empty hop, empty land into, uh, into grab. Ooh, tries to cover the edge with the turnip throw. Couple frames off. Now Ray has to make it back to the middle of the stage. Send out one It's so scary when Peach just does that in exactly. your face, man. It's like, what do you do? You just start panicking. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Jeez. Okay, here we go. And that back air. Not going to seal the deal. Yeah, great DI by Ray. Opting to up be really high. I like that idea. Like, as good as the recovery Palatana has, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have, like, great drift out of it. So, like... Mm -hmm. So it does have great drift, but on landing, it, it has very little end lag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a teleport recovery at the very least. Yeah, deceptive, man. 
but it does have a lot of startup frames, and you can you can cast Palutena on uh, when she appears again. There's a lot of frames where you can uh, hit her out of it. Even when she, you just see the sparkle, you can hit Palutena. So you can take advantage of that. Ooh, nice. Good catch. He's been doing that for th this entire set, but it hasn't really been working. Uh, that high Peach Bomber. But, um, yeah. It uh, definitely couldn't, it definitely shouldn't have worked because Ray was obviously just jumping out of, like, habit. Yeah. But that was a good, regardless, that was a good read there from Ling Ling. Ooh, great. He might have died to that up air uh, that high. Okay. Just going to jump out of that Peach Bomber. Stage control going to completely change. My but God. that Peach Bomber going to catch that rollback. Really good at catching rollback. Your, your best option is to just jump. Even spot dodge is a little dangerous. Ooh, good buffer roll there from Ray mm -hmm. to it, uh, avoid getting ledge trump right there. Ooh, that trade with the fair. And for those who don't know ledge trump in this game, you can di ledge trump. Yeah. So you can get ledge trump and just immediately hold in and go back, uh, go to the um, get put right on the stage. Oh, oh. the very sneaky explosive flame. Absolutely from Ray. sneaky. My man is a thief in the night with that explosive <laughs> flame. Oh, there you go. He's going to drop that explosive flame off on his way to the blast zone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> drop it off the insane. kids at school. Right. Walking your dog, passing somebody's <laughs> lawn. Let me just let him drop this here and just keep going. <laughs> okay. Back air. Great pressure by Ling Ling. 46% in on Ray. Um, just trying to reset the neutral. Ray having no, I mean, Ling Ling having no issue with that. Nope, not at all. Okay, that Nair going to catch his full hop. Mm. Down smash, looking like it, it kind of shield poke. But that back throw going to put Ling Ling off stage. How do you make it oh! back? Oh, that's dangerous. Ah! Oh, I thought, he, I thought he won. I thought he won. That was insane. Holy crap. That and was not nutty. And not for nothing, Palutena dropped like a rock just now. Yeah, dude. Jeez. She dropped like my grade point average. <laughs> she dropped my like pr productivity after this game came out. That's crazy. I wonder if, I wonder if on the way down, Palutena hit the um, parasol again, causing did, her to yeah. pop up and not die first. Cause she fell mm. really, really fast. Maybe that was nuts. Let's see yeah, what the replay yeah. says. Thank, thank God for House with their replay. Bang, bang. I don't know. I don't. Uh, th I don't uh, think he hit it. I don't think he hit think it he again, but that right. was that was nutty. Nonetheless, so and all that set up by an untimely air dodge from yep. Ling Ling, leaving him uh, open to get killed like that. Yep. So and that's the thing, directional air dodge coming from Smash Four feels like a really good thing. Yeah. But if somebody calls you out for it, my guy, you are sitting. It definitely duck. took a little bit like of a getting used to, uh, for sure. But like. Yeah, obviously, it's, it still sucks whenever you see it happen. Like, muscle memory is a hard thing to just kick. Yeah. Especially after years of not having to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Nice spacing on that back air. Okay. Doing a great job of stuffing Ray out. Ray just trying to find his way back to the middle of the stage. But oh, you're going to eat Lord. this fair. You're so, going to eat this fair. Turn up in hand. He is playing angry right now. I like to I like to eat vegetables with my food. With my meaty food. Have you ever, like, legitimately gone out of your way to eat a turnip before? No, absolutely not. They look like they taste like beets, and beets don't look appealing. They look like they taste like beets and onions put together. Yeah. I want no parts of that. <laughs> I want no parts of that yeah. fiesta. Nonetheless, look at this down here. Yeah, man. Lingling is playing like a man possessed right now. Mm -hmm. He is angry. Yes, he understood. Listen, that, that last match should have been mine, or it should have went on at least a little bit longer. I'm not giving you the stupid. I'm not even going to let you get the chance <laughs> <laughs> to do that again. Nice coverage. Oh, Lord. Get fried. My man. My man, my man Lingling cooking out here. Frying pan and all. Yeah, he, got, he absolutely got cooked. Yes. Okay, landing with that. Here's the damage. Here's the, and I picked up my stitch face. Oh my god! Jeez, man. The mix. Not only did he make him drop the stitch face, he picked it up in the combo. If he would have converted, my god, that would have been in the next yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, highlight video. <laughs> Ooh, go for these directional air dodges to cross Ooh. up. I'm not even gonna front. I would have walked face first into them wings. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, can I get some hot wings, please? <laughs> They're not going to be able to get the job done. Ray still continuing to press right now. Mm -hmm. Back air finds its mark. Yes. So at least got him, he gets himself on the board here. Yes. That's important. Very important. But I mean, it might be a little bit too late, man. Uh, this uh, this peach is, is something serious. But who, who, what am I talking about? This is Palutena. Yeah, man. 
She's got that A button that's it's working. The whole A button. And look at that. Lagless landing on that Peach Bomber was able to get him there in time to punish. Ooh. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. <laughs> Do it again. And that back here, look at the hitbox on that thing. Wow. So nice. Or in this case, the hip box. The hip. Oh, I like what you did there. I like what you I like what you did there. Yeah, man. Shout outs to legs. You're right? That's all I got. Shout outs to being thick. <laughs> 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 oh man. You seen Peach Gay, she nice and thick. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here. We're, canc we're canceling the stream. <laughs> oh man. Alright, here we go. Game five, folks. Winner has a winner moves on, loser goes home. My, so. The winner <laughs> winner of these damsels has a date with the uh, uh dinosaur dragon turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Peach is trying not to get kidnapped by uh by Bowser again. Right? Oh, this again? Snatched. <laughs> Getting real tired of your act, yeah, man. Postpartum <laughs> and all that. <laughs> all right. Needless to say, let's see what happens here, man. Because, like, the games that Ling, like, that was a very, like, aggressive game from Ling Ling. Absolutely. Like, he came out very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And once again, uh, off to a real good lead right now. Yeah. I mean, momentum is a thing. He has all the momentum coming into this match. Ray has to figure something out because he didn't figure it out in the last in the last no. stock of that match. That match ended with Ling Ling absolutely in control. Oh no, he was done though. Mm -hmm. So what do you do here? I think to play a stronger neutral using there, uh, a move that's not easily punished. But that right there, very easily punished. I don't think Ray throws out another one of those in the neutral. At least that kill percent. It's not gonna work. Okay. Going to combo break fair to get out of that uh, P-string. That uh, pivot grab, though. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Even sexier in this game because uh, it's not as easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Ling Ling just trying to get himself, uh, you know, push his lead here. Mm -hmm. Ray trying to give himself a chance here. Again, like the use of the explosive play once again. D -d back air on shield and the jump back air is such a good tool, man. Yeah. Just, like, it covers almost everything. Okay. Here we go. Having to pull a turnip, definitely a great neutral tool to have. You have the lead, okay? Now, that's that's something dangerous. Uh, for, for all those who are having trouble with the Peach matchup, if yep. Peach has a turnip in her hand and she throws the turnip while she is in the air coming towards you, you have now been inducted into the Mix Hall of Fame. You are going to get mixed. <laughs> first, first, first ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous decision. <laughs> like, Peach, Peach's mix is so, like, crazy. And you said, uh, like we saw earlier, like we were saying earlier, that big hitbox of Peach's bow and air, uh -huh. proving great coverage both behind her and in front of her. So even that back air, look at it, covers so much ground, so uh, has very little end lag. It's like just stuffing Ray out every time Ray uh, tries to come in. It's like yo, taking all the cheeks. Yeah, and notice how the pace of the game has like changed now. Uh, Ling Ling just kind of. You know, it's kind of kiting back. Mm -hmm. Leech in, there's a lot of space between him and Ray, so he can react a lot better to these aerials. Yeah. Okay. I love that's my favorite move to watch get parried because it sounds like a machine gun going off. Yeah. Like, -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need my edit of base boosted parries <laughs> because that'll be my favorite YouTube video for the Yo. rest of my life. Parry's looking nice, man. Okay, Ooh, okay. that explosive flame. You're eating that. Yep. Get caught, get burned. And I mean, it was pretty sneaky with it because he hasn't thrown it ever since he got punished by, by that um, fair from Auto Reticle. We haven't seen those yep. uh, long range uh, projectiles moves yeah. since. So it's kind of sneaky. He's definitely out there to just like, use it a lot less. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, once you once somebody punishes you uh, that hard for something, yeah. just kind of think twice about doing it again. Ooh, okay. A lot of kite, a lot of kiting around right now. Yep. Ray just still trying to fight here. Keep him, keep it at least close for him. Um, but Ling Ling just trying to get off the stock. It's only inevitable for Palutena to meet your demise. And I mean, you're off stage at kill percent. How do you get back to the stage? You just do your great up B. That up air gonna put him right back next to the blast zone. Uh, this is not looking good. Ooh. Ooh. Literally hesitated for a second. Oh, uh, Ling Ling. Yeah. He actually had to run off the platform after that. So uh, kind of. Uh, Messed up his uh, mix, but that invincible back air gonna do some uh, work for him. That was a true punish. 
uh, Ling Ling was able to get there in time before the uh, recovery frames of that auto reticle or explosive flame ended. All okay. right, folks. So Ray on the ropes here. He's, you know, on his last stock here, game five, has to take off, uh, you know, at least give him, put himself within, like, you know, it's, it's within reach yeah. if he can get the stock off. Okay. And just, and I like what Ling Ling is doing here. He, he always has a turnip in hand. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that was because that move is supposed to auto parry. Yeah, that was great. And he still got hit with one of the hits. That's weird. Nonetheless, uh, Ling Ling always has it. So that's what it is. Um, Ray is trying to punish the turnip pull. Right. Um, so Ling Ling is kind of trying to mix it up when he pulls turnip and when he doesn't. But he's opting to, he wants the turnip in his hand um, in the neutral. Which is smart because uh, you got that turnip in your hand. Yeah. It's a lot more damage. Ooh, explosive flame almost finding its mark right there. You see Ling Ling just opting to kind of hang out low. Mm. Good cross up right there with the yes. forward air. You gotta get the down smash for oh, his Not a good place for uh, Ray to be in. You're off stage. Um, Pretty high percentage, that back throw gonna do it. Oh, get launched. Yeah, man, here we go. Last stock situation for both these guys. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this isn't out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Palutena does damage oh. with the snare. That's how you get what started. Do? Nice fade back. He, he, he did the directional air dodge, but faded back to avoid the re-grab, which was big. Ooh, okay. Just gonna full hop to, mid, uh, to the center stage. Uh, Ling Ling doing a good job of avoiding these nares. Uh, you can see, you can tell Ray's sneaky. <laughs> Again, that low explosive flame proving a, a great get off me tool right yeah. there. Ooh, that air dash could have yeah. been punished, but Ray getting a second chance of life here. here. Ling Ling connects the back air. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, what do you do? You're at kill percent. You're trying to get back to stage control. Okay, that platform bidding well for him, but I don't know if Ling Ling lets him get to that platform Ooh, again. I, and I'd say the clock could be a factor here, but I feel like somebody's gonna die before the time eventually runs out. Ooh, and there you go. There goes. He's been trying to get that this entire set. And, and the just back like air that, connects. Yes, gonna do it. He visually frustrated. Uh, you can see Ray. Um, he may not have wanted to land on the stage, but it's tricky to try and get that uh, that angle from that high. Yeah, man. Right there. Yeah. He probably wanted to get to the. Um, to the edge. You hate to see that sort of thing happen, mm -hmm. but needless to say, great set between both those guys, yeah. and we still got a, two more sets. Yes, two more maybe great three, sets. Maybe three. Because stepping to the uh, podium here, we got the man himself, Snatch King. Kind of how the character works. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to put himself in like a really, really scary position to get blown up like hard by these punishes. But Yeah, but I mean, Leon, he can't he can do a lot of whiffing. You know what I mean? Once he whiffs something, Peach is gonna uh, Peach is gonna weave in and out of Bowser's space, right in and out of his pocket. Yep. Um, once he whiffs something, he's gonna take damage for it. A lot of damage at that. I'm saying, man. So let's see how this works out here. Yep. It looks like Leon's uh, key to approach right now is just kind of that landing neutral air. Mm -hmm. Here we go. A B just to get out of danger, and uh, 77% on on B. Oh! Yo! See ya! He had no respect for this man just now. That was crazy. That was some next level. Listen, I know you're gonna I know you're gonna land right here. I know you're gonna shield. The shield is mine, B. That was a good move. Uh, is he dead though? Big brain. No, mm, I'm to go high. Really smart. Yeah, that was a really good angle there from Leon. Ooh! All right, Ling Ling continuing to press. He might be dead. No. Okay, gonna make it back to stage. I mean, Ling Ling, if he wants to, uh, if he wants to win this match, he can't let Bowser get on stage too much. Uh, Ling Ling looks. I mean, Leon looks a little bit too comfortable standing on this stage. This is where he has to capitalize. Ah, and drops it again. Leon has another chance at life. Another chance to put on damage. And just like that. Yeah, goes for the down throw, for strictly a damage throw. Mm -hmm. But Ling Ling eventually comes out on top right yes. there. 48% sin on him right now. Not too much extra credit, because you can do that very easily. Um, here we go, up air, mm. fair. Gonna put him right back off stage. Down throw, back air. What's the mix? What's for breakfast? <laughs> Apparently <That> golf. <laughs> now that move, you can you see Peaches uh, pull that move out on the ledge because it does two frame. It will catch you on the ledge. You wait there too long, you will get deleted. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll, you'll get hit by the five mm. iron. Snatch. And Ling Ling bringing this one all the way back. Couple yeah, combos. Uh, Leon saying at 54, uh, 154%. Yep, but here's where the problem comes in, man. The longer you let Bowser hang around, the scarier it is for you. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. He tried to get that empty hop land into back throw, but he didn't give it to him. There you go. Yeah, you're going to eat this. Yeah, <laughs> get cooked. Mm -hmm. And great reaction from, uh, from Ling Ling, understanding that, okay, I can get a full forward smash off of this. He immediately charged the forward. Charged the forward. That was dangerous because if he was facing forward, he would have ate a fair free of charge. Oh my <laughs> god, that was crazy! Did you hear the roar on that forward smash? My goodness, Mufasa! <laughs> All right, gets grabbed. That's gets, not gonna be killed. Okay, not gonna die for it yet. But Bowser, I'm out here. I am here. Yeah, man. Leon going super deep out yeah. there for that. My man nuts. Okay, snatched uh, forward throw. Yeah. <laughs> Eject. Yeah, can't go ahead. <laughs> Eject. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't paid your rent, your rent in a month. <laughs> oh. Okay, that platform going to get uh, out of the way. Ooh. Yeah. See ya. These turnips, man. So much knockback knock you right into the stage. If you're not ready to take these, you will die. And the good old JV2 coming out from Leon, excuse me, from Ling Ling right there. Yes. A lot of L's. Die. L's regardless all over this match. Okay. And I don't, I, well, this is uh, exactly what I thought we were going to see. I didn't think we were going to see any, uh, any switches? No, that was just real good, man. All right, so here we go. FD will be the stage of choice right here. Leon down a game here against Ling Ling. Yes. Okay. And I mean, Le uh, Leon started out really strong in that last set. You almost yes, yeah, damage, and this is where it is. I drops the combo. We're gonna get snatched for it. Bro, but Peach is Nair is like my mother level of scary. Yo, it's absolutely scary. Do not let Peach fall on you with Nair. Do not sit in shield while Peach is trying to yeah, Nair you. Like, two things strike the fear of God into my heart. It's my mother and Peach is Nair. Absolutely. She's approaching me with I'm her. absolutely on that boat. <laughs> okay, here we go. How do you make it back to the stage? Um, that up tilt. <laughs> she sounds so sad. Gonna eat it. Mm. Okay, here we go. Try so and uh, Ling Ling understands. Listen, if I fall on you with Nair, there's a lot of things. I know, I know what my mix is. That's yeah. what I want to do. I want to fall on you. Especially with a bigger carrier like Bowser, like he's gonna get hit by these strings, like both longer and harder. Yes. At these later percents. Oh. This race on deck, though. Here we go. You're dead. If you get stitched in space, did he get another one? That's not another stitch face. That is another stitch face. Yo, double stitch. Yo, Leon, I'm sorry, my man. This ain't looking too good for you. Dude. But that read, though. Yeah. My man Ling Ling has the uh, the golden the, the the green thumb on deck for sure. Ooh, no peace bomber. Okay, opting just for the mix. But you're gonna get snatched. He pulled him from the depths. Okay, uh, nice. Gonna come back aggressively. Yeah. Neutral get up on stage. Didn't even shield. Just opts to go right into down air, which is dangerous because yeah. Bowser uh, forward tilt is is a is a, is yeah, a bad man. move. So it looked like for a second that that uh. That that downer was gonna go unpunished from uh, from Ling Ling. Uh, do you yeah. have a jump? Nah, yeah, yeah, too low. No jump. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, Leon's saying uh, saying pretty right now. Uh, all you're doing is getting more rage for this uh, for on your second stock. If you could put on some damage, uh, it'd be a scary situation for Ling Ling. Ooh, good read on the counter right there. Yep, just gonna bait that out. That fair! Yeah, you're dead, my guy. I kill all types of people with this fair. Yeah. I may not have had this fair in Mario Bros, but I got it here. Wow, big damage coming out from Ling Ling. And you can see him adapting to his combos mid-set. Last time he got the down tilt, he did that, tried to get another Nair, but wasn't able to convert. This time, he got the Nair and immediately went into the grab. That was That's really good recognition yeah. of what your character can do. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, up air gonna put him in a bad situation. But I'm just gonna nair my way down too. You got a nair, <laughs> I got a nair. Okay, oh, nice. Down there gonna cover through the ledge, gonna air dodge to pick up that turnip, but on his way trying to throw it back. My man Ling Ling brings this one all the way back. With the back. The Here back of the back. Throwing it back. And up 2-0, looking for a date uh, once again with uh, wishes. Yes. So here we go, man. Looks like FD once again is going to be the stage of choice here. Yeah. So what do you do here? What does what is uh? Guy, uh, you pick a different. <laughs> Who is it? Frozen? Oh. That was crazy, man. 
All right, so it looks like the, the what you you know what you do, you switch from a reptile to a feline. Mm -hmm. So, and it, of course he gets a here we go. The first pull. My <laughs> man, uh, here we go. And the thing is, off stage, Incineroar is gonna get bodied. Yeah. On stage, this is a different story. Incineroar can stack up those revenges on each turnip um hit. Every time uh, Ling Ling throws a turnip, or that could happen. Wow. He made it, he made a poor decision in trying to go back low. Yeah. No, oh, this no. This is not good. <laughs> Yo, you died at three percent, my guy. You were at three percent. Three percent. Yo, I. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yo, did you hear the no from Cooper just now? Four throw. More post, uh, post traumatic stress with that throw. Yeah, man, I'm saying. Done. Okay. There you go. See a little whip. Not gonna get the uh, the, the clothesline hit yeah. of it. It's the first time we've seen it. That said, I don't know if that's a good thing. I or mean, a he's, bad he's thing. played a combined like eight seconds on stage, <laughs> so I mean, it's hard to see it. <laughs> okay. Back throw. You're Ooh. dead, my guy. The suplex. The suplex. German. Is that a German suplex? I have no idea. I think it is a German suplex. At that German suplex, the the best. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. What the hell was that? We said a combined hundred and uh, <laughs> not even uh, a combined seven words during that set. Dude, if you blinked the game, look, listen. You can we can put two stops in one replay. How often does that happen? Ugh. Uh. Forward throw. Ugh. Take this turnip. You see, if he yeah. would have side beat immediately, he might have made it back. Was that the two stops? That wasn't the two stops. Okay, here we go. Ops will go off stage again. You are not Bowser. <laughs> You're gonna take this. <laughs> You hate to see that thing happen. Nonetheless, <laughs> and he knew very, he had a smile on his nonetheless, face. Nonetheless, a great performance there from Leon, man. Uh, coming out in third place here. Uh, That's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if um, I think he just lost that set because he just wasn't ready to play Incineroar. I don't think he went Incineroar for the entire in the no, entirety of this bracket. Definitely not. And here we go, folks. Grand finals coming up here at Legacy Chapter One. We got. Into the into the sound of Dual Zone. Yeah. Uh, we will be getting into this first game here in Grands. So Ling Ling and Wishes, a rematch of winner semifinals. Yes. Where uh, Wishes came out on top 3-1. Mm -hmm. Now you kind of got to ask, what is um, what does uh, Ling Ling want in this matchup? He he tends to float a lot, which is um, which I think something that Razor Leaf could catch very easily. Yeah. You know. The big thing for him is if he's able to get the initial hits in, then he's golden. Yeah. But because the Ivysaur is just so good at covering the range that Peach wants to like both approach you and like fight you at, yeah. then it's hard. Yep. Um, it's absolutely the neutral. Uh, I don't think Peach wins in the neutral in this matchup at all. Anytime you want to pull a turnip, you got a Razor Leaf coming at you and then uh, Ivysaur following that. So that was dangerous. Okay. That that grab just gonna whiff completely. Yeah. Oh sheesh. Oh, and that razor leaf, he forced the jump with the razor leaf. That's a that's a that's a plant. Yeah. That is, that is that is a healthy plant. It's like what do you do in that situation? Uh Wish is doing a really good job of just covering all spaces. He, he knows exactly where yeah. Ling Ling wants to be and he's and he's there. The also the big thing is is that like um obviously the biggest thing for Peach is always just like keeping her in like disadvantage. Like, uh -huh. uh, and Ivysaur is just like such a great character at doing that because of how good of a hitbox that up there is. But also this, uh, Ivysaur can just do that so like easily and not yeah. have to worry about getting re-grabbed. Like you have to respect Vinewood so much in this matchup. Needless to say, Fodair meets its mark. Mm -hmm. and, that will, <laughs> and that will kill. Nonetheless, I mean, as much, uh, as much momentum as, uh, or control Wishes has had in the beginning of this match, it's, it's dead even. 0.2% off. Ooh. Hey, that back here gonna punish that uh that nair. Again, neutral once again gonna go punish with the back air. Yeah. So now Ling Ling has himself I'll be a, a percent lead right now. So okay. And you can see Wish is playing a different form of neutral now. Uh but when the first stock he was opting to uh, do a lot of uh razor leaps in the neutral. But now we're even seeing the Charizard come out, so Oh Yo, why does that kill like that? He was at like 56. <laughs> My man. Yeah, I think this. Is, I think that is a really important thing about this matchup for uh, uh, for Pokemon Trainer is that I, the big thing is like the element of surprise, having to adjust to three different types yep. of play styles. The snipe. Jeez. The snipe. You're dead. Oh wait, but you have this guy. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can fly. 
Nice. Baited out that offensive option coming off the stage. Was able to drift right out of range. They're going to eat it back here for it. Ooh, that could have been huge damage coming out for Ling Ling, but which is able to avoid yeah. any further harm. I'm actually surprised that that didn't connect. It looked like he might have DI'd up and out, so he wasn't hit with a strong hitbox yes. of that, where he wasn't in range of that nair. I'm and saying, then just though. air dodge for it. I mean, after. Good job. Okay. Last stock situation, though. Both of these guys kind of slugging it out for this game one. Um, Ling Ling able to uh, turn this one around in the beginning. He was uh, didn't seem like he knew what he what he wanted to do. Ooh, what? that's gonna connect. That no, that move is very strong, though. Very strong. Woo! That could have been really bad for both players right there. Oh, nice read with the up smash right there. <laughs> was what like was his, he doing? His best. Why was he just... Like, that had to have been a mistake. <laughs> that had to have been a mistake. Look, let's, let's, let's he just floated happened. right on top of him. He could have landed with Nair or anything. That had to have been a misinput. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> And now, now that I look at the player cam, you could tell he immediately wanted yeah. that one back. Because he knew what he wanted to do, but it just didn't come out. I got to say, I'm a big fan of this plant-based neutral coming out from uh, from uh, which is this? A little thing? vegan neutral? Yeah, man. This is eat, uh, yeah, eat, eat, eating clean, like all like farm-grown products. My man Ivysaur with the vegan neutral. You heard yeah. it here first. <laughs> Cooper and God, Godfident, the vegan yeah. neutral. Yeah, drives a, drives a, a hybrid. Like... <laughs> We're out here, man. <laughs> right, let's see. Like I said, it's been a steady diet of, of Ivysaur and Charizard for this matchup specifically. But I think that the good element of surprise, and the thing that Wish was doing well, is that he was he started switching like into Charizard. Like he started using Charizard more, like in yeah. the middle of that set, because it looked like he kind of started getting like stagnant with Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of the beauty of Pokemon Trainer. You have to force someone to adjust yeah. to three different matchups at once. You got to auto mix up button. It's yeah. like. Uh, this isn't working. Let me just try this. And that's what we were talking about last time they played. Uh, Wish is kind of throwing out the Razor Leaf in situations where Ling Ling has the advantage, and he could just spare him and the Razor Leaf. You know, I think we need to ban the uh, trainer in uh, in Squad Strike, so you tend to get the players like six yeah. characters. Yeah, you play Squad Strike with uh, Pokemon Trainer, you only get one character. <laughs> you only get one character. Not even all three stocks. You just play that one stock. <laughs> All right, needless to say, uh, Ling Ling in the advantage here right okay, now. Nice. That's another stitch. How many stitches have we seen from... Um, oh, oh, get wrecked. Yo, Ratchet. The more Ratchet you are with Charizard, the better. Like, saying, you can't, man. you can't, you couldn't possibly Flare Blitz here. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. Okay, now the mix. The first time we're seeing Squirtle here with his Hydro Combos. Okay, interesting. Okay. He's kind of got some early percent combos with, uh, with Squirtle. Now opting to go back to Ivysaur here. I mean, Squirtle got 15 seconds of fame and uh, was out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're done. He was the kicker. <laughs> you came in for yeah. one play. <laughs> Get one job. <laughs> oh. Here we go. A B. Gonna, not going to sweet spot, but definitely going to give him the damage. And that Ooh. up air going to catch him from the side. Up B. He doesn't want to air dodge. Uh, not too many options there, but he gets strong. We got a couple up airs of his own. Wow. Peach Bomber gonna put him off stage. This is where you want to be. Okay. No wow. flare blitz. Yeah, the air dodge did a good job just reaching back to the ledge. Yeah. So got the job done. Okay. Now, um, Ling Ling was doing a really good job of avoiding a lot of things. He doesn't want to give him much. Uh, just do it again. Why not? Ooh, good back air once again from mm -hmm. landing. Ling Ling trying to get himself back into here. Once again. Force, force oh, the flare blitz. Gonna miss the, um, the punish. You have no shield. Okay. Wow. Good fair. Uh, this thing's still kind of big. Here we go. All right. Last stock situation. <laughs> uh, who's gonna? Uh, who's, is Ling Ling gonna tie this up going into game three? Or does Wishes take a, uh, a two-game lead? We shall see. Take, nice. Nice conversion with that down there. Gonna cover the edge. Good thing Tether's so good, man. Mm -hmm. Now that that nair coming onto the stage was so good. Uh, Ling Ling was not expecting an offensive option from him. Mm, okay, good back air once again. Mm -hmm. That's, the, that's a, it's a huge lead right now for Ling Ling. Nice, the way! Blair Blitz? Good. He, oh, sweet God. Why did he still get hit? He almost didn't react to that, too. Like, he reacted so late to that Flare Blitz. He was like, oh, I can counter here. That was, uh, that was something, to say the least. Yeah. Peachy, if you may.
But now uh, Wishes has to think twice before he does that. Where, not, did he, uh, where did he get a bath towel from? He can't, uh, <laughs> did he have that this whole time? He pulled it out of his, uh, his, his pocket. Ivysaur gave it to him. <laughs> Actually gave him everything else. <laughs> Okay, going into game three, Battlefield is the choice. I'm not, we're not going to see any character uh, switches here. Nah, probably not. No. Pokemon Trainer. And you can see he's opting to uh, start with Ivysaur. Yeah, I don't see why not. Ivysaur yeah. like, very clearly seems the most like yep. well-rounded out of all the Pokemon. Especially in the neutral. The neutral is, uh, is a big part of this match. Three, two, one, oh, God, go. I love this song so much. Yeah, this song is really good. Now, here we go, folks. Battlefield. <laughs> Okay, Ling Ling looking a little sluggish now. I don't know. He got the turnip. Uh, he got the turnip hit, but he wasn't able to uh, convert on it. Now yeah. sitting at disadvantage, just gonna fight his way down. He's too slugging it out. Yeah, man, the double back air. Uh, right, great damage. Oh God, man, 66. The fact that he hit the blast zone with that is insane. Yeah. Again, oh, that was fair. Not up B. Okay, you can't take a up B here. Uh, nice uh, Peach Bomber. Gonna punish all of that. Squirtle. Ooh, okay. okay. I like that. That move. Listen, you may have thought that was the the bad option, but he had no options on, yeah. that, on that platform. <laughs> there were no options. That up air covered the entire platform with the strong hitbox. All right, once again, going to miss the, uh, the up air out of the backer conversion. So now Ling Ling back in a position where he has stage uh, control. Okay. Fourth throw going to put him off stage. Now this is where Ling Ling has excelled. Every time he gets Ivysaur off the stage, he's able to clip the um, he's able to clip the vine, um, the tether grab. But um, this time he's able to get back on stage. Going to call out the jump though yeah. with his fair. I don't know why he has tilted twice on the platform right there, but covered so much space with that fair. Nonetheless, back air. Going to put him right there. Okay, down throw. Ooh. Ooh, trying to go for the up air, but good DI there from Ling Ling. Announcer again, the up B, not enough oh, to kill just yet. The, yeah, I've seen other characters die earlier than that. So. Oh my god, what? Okay, so he got hit there because he Peace Bomber just a little bit too high. You have to Peace Bomber to where you clip the ledge under, you can't go straight forward at it or else just you'll, you'll, you'll uh, stay there for a little while. He got evicted from the ledge right there, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> my ledge. <laughs> All right, so now you see Squirtle's seeing an elongated uh, appearance from right here right now. Okay. Maybe trying to give Lingling a different like change of uh, you know, yeah. something else to adjust to. Squirtle reminds me of just like Baby Sheik, man. I hate you with any of my normals, and it's comboing into something else. Anything else. I, whatever I pick. Well, pick in and choose well, combos. Well, in Project M, there was a costume where Squirtle was dressed as a ninja. So. Okay, he tries to call out a jump there. Not going to get it. Uh, I like it, though. Just a nice flare blitz. This time he opted to go high, so Ling Ling didn't. It was kind of caught him off guard, so he didn't know what he wanted to do with it. Oh boy! But this back air. Ah! This back air. Oh my god! That he just went for it. He's doing somersaults. Why not? <laughs> I got an extra stock. That was so smart. You did when, do amazing, Charizard. Really proud of you there. And wishes. His gameplay reminds me of like a like a boneless Nairo. Like, okay. he's not afraid to kind of go for those YOLO no. reads, yeah. those YOLO offstage options. He's very high pressure. Like, when Wishes has the gears running, like, yeah, it he's just, a force he, yeah, to be reckoned It feels with. like he's, like, a step ahead of everybody. Yeah, like exactly. And that's exactly. Nairo looks like he's three steps ahead of everybody when yeah. he has you in the mix. Exactly. So, here uh, we go, folks. I really enjoy watching both of, the, both of them play, Nairo and Wishes. Okay, so, so, the rubber match is was... Uh, so rubber match goes to uh, Wishes. He's up 2-1 in the set right now. Yeah. Going for the tournament clincher right now, the first edition of the Legacy Circuit. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, Ling Ling, it, it, it's just that every time he figures something out, it seems like Wishes just goes that to that next step. Yep. Immediately. He doesn't give him much time to capitalize on what he's figured out. I think what's the good clue right there is a little bit more mix of all three of the Pokemon. Uh -huh. Like he was relying less on Ivysaur and actually got decent mileage with Squirtle and a lot of mileage with Charizard, obviously. So, uh -huh. again, just giving Ling Ling a different look. It's kind of like putting a hot sauce in a cheesesteak or something. Like you're trying to get a different yeah. flavor texture. Nice. So. And I mean, it's not like these po the Pokemon are good. Like Squirtle yeah. and, and Charizard are both good Pokemon. You're dead. You're not sorry having that one. Now sort of up there connects, so a... Strong lead and start right now. Again, another stitch face on deck, though. Now, this is tough. Uh, 
This is a, this definitely a mountain to climb. I mean, 73% sitting on wishes. Uh, not impossible. Okay, double roll. That roll's gonna start to get a little laggy. <laughs> if only that move matched the um, the knockback of the move encountered. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that already busted. Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, did he want fair? Fair absolutely would have scooped him. Yeah, regardless, uh, Wish is getting the second mm. chance of life here thanks to Charizard. Good job. The only reason why he was able to get that uh, option coming out of shield is because he dared on his shield, doing the down, and then Peach Bombing. So he had limited options. And I like the little mix-up right there, using Withdrawal with Squirtle. Oh, but that is a shield poke. What's he going to do? Yeah, throw that yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> throw that turnabout. Let's, make, let's get the proper punish. Now this is good. Another uh, stitch? You got some momentum going in here. Can we here. get a stitch counter, please? Absolutely. He has a stitch in his hand. He might drop it here, though. If he gets hit again, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped it. And then they see he's like he's fishing for it. Like He's, he's kind of trying to play off the fear. Right. OK, no jump. He has no jump. Oh, he does have a jump. Yeah, is what I would say. Wow. Does Squirtle get a jump after he does that side B thing? I don't. Like Inklings? To be honest, I have no idea. Yeah, oh, he goes like for the down throw. Oh, Fine this is scary. He died at this percent last last time. He was able to survive it. As you can see, he can't take the cross up. He just sneezed on him. That was obnoxious. That up smash had so much startup. You looked at it, oh, Ivysaur's whole face before uh, <laughs> he was able to come out and grab uh, recovery frames. All right, here we go, folks. But just like we said, every time we, um, every time Ling Ling seems to opt a little bit of momentum, which is able to stop him in his tracks. I love the use of that Razor Leaf to catch the Peach Bomber right there. Mm. Okay. Now look at the shield pressure coming out from Ling Ling. Absolutely, this is exactly what he needs. He has he's, Charizard. Charizard now with the best button, so. Yeah, exactly. He's playing like he's down a stock right now, and his tournament life depends on it. Yeah. So. Exactly what you need to do. Now he's going to be able to sneak under that fair to land that back air. And these float cancers are catching wishes in the mix. How do you make it back to the stage? Just going to get him attack, pulling out the Squirtle. Wants a little bit more damage. Okay. okay. Yo, I don't know if he would have survived that. Uh-oh. Okay, he got them with the up air. The vine whip connects, and there we go. Yes, and that is your chair. That is your tournament. My guy wishes. Rocking the Ivysaur and friends. <laughs> going to take Legacy, Chapter 1. Clap it up Great for job. your boy, man. That was absolutely fantastic. Definitely. But uh, uh, Ling Ling does qualify for the uh, for the invitation at the end. Top top four for all six of these uh, monthlies make it into the uh, $5,000 invitational at the end of the circuit. That's a lot of bread. So um, it is a lot of bread. <laughs> a lot of money. So we're going to have some people come in. This one might have been the freest one we're going to have. Yeah. And this one wasn't free at yeah. all as player four steps into yeah. the frame. So do you mind